So, yeah, I'm not going to go through the recap again. We'll just say as we pick it up where it was. Darrett standing in the middle of the room. We have... We were distressed to hear your recent reports of the events that happened in the town of Vogler, and once more we have your deeper sympathies. We'd like to thank you for taking us up in the offer and wish now to pass both this mission on to you. From what you told us, there was a great dragon-like beast at the battle to evacuate Vogler. It is my understanding that this thing has enough destructive power to render even a hundred men useless. We would like to know more about this device. Some twelve miles south of the city, a gnome inventor. Her name, Tatina Rickledust. We believe she may know of this device or a similar device. Even if she does not, we would very much like to meet her. Actually, I can and, probably listen. And recruit her as an advisor in the upcoming battles. The road ahead should be fine and the journey should take less than a day on horseback, provided you leave before midday. Marshal Nestra Vendry. Derek nods and walks out and walks in Melano, who has been oddly missing for the past two days. Also, hello. Hi, Jalen. How are you? Hello. Hi. How are you? Ah, you're cooking. That's okay. Hello. Let, let him cook. That's cool. You've literally only just missed the recap, and I forgot to record it, so don't worry. Okay. I recorded it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Making like an apple pie thing. Oh, you, you dirty, dirty. Yeah. A few more of these, by the way. I've done arts and crafts for y'all. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Turn that around. Oh, you see? Pulls all the apples here. Graham cracker crust. This goes on top. Mm, sounds, yes. Looks yummy. Yeah. Yes, yes. You're making an apple crumble. Yes. I am. <laughs> yeah, that's Darrett kind of walks out. You watch as he nods his head and, and walks Melano. Uh, since you are technically here, Jalen, I will technically play Fane whilst you are here. Look at me sideways. Wow. The difference the tough feet makes is all I'll say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm at like almost 50 HP. God, Fade I should have had 30. I rolled oh. a max for my le level up. Every time? Page 4 and 30. Almost every time. God. And I have a D6. Fane has a D8, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, you have a DA. You now technically have, well, it's 9 a.m., we'll say. So, you have about three hours to do whatever you wish to do within the city before leaving. Leaving any later would require a rather long days. It would require a rest between going there and coming back. Are they going to provide us with horses, or will you have to go acquire them ourselves from the... Uh... You can assume that would be given to you as a provision from the Quartermaster, similar to armour and such. Gotcha. <clears throat> Make it easier, faster. Yeah. Uh, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't have money to buy anything yet. Where are we supposed to go? We're going 12 miles, 12 miles? 12 south miles. South of town? To meet a gnome inventor. Get her name already. Tatina Rickledust. Tatiana, there we go. I called her Tatiana last time, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Ah. It's your it's your prerogative to change names as, as you wish. But it's also just the name Tatiana. It's a bit just the name. Layer to it. I mean, Tatiana is yeah. a character in Curse of Strahd, I think. 
or no, we're close enough to start doing that. Let's see, got a little message from Macaron as well. Should I add five gold pieces to my inventory as well? Yeah. For the pick? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I thought I'd done that, although, to be fair, I came home last night and went straight to bed. <laughs> mm. I watched TikTok until like midnight. Been there, done mm, that. Mac. Macaroon. I love TikTok. It's, it's very educational sometimes. Fuck off. Yeah. Oh, TikTok? Gosh, I, I had uh, yeah, well, I had the um uh, with it, you have three hours. Uh, what is it you wish to do? You can also just straight mm. up leave, it's entirely up to yourselves. Just anything anything after those three hours. It would be a case of you risk having to do a long rest between the journeys. Unless that's what you want. I'm gonna Wait, did I get my did I get my bow and, and, and arrows? Uh you can technically get that from the quartermaster today, yes. Alright, I'm gonna go do that. Okay. No one else anyone else for anything else? Um, I can't wear armor, so I can't do that. <clears throat> um, you have proficiencies and simple weapons, though. Um, I don't but know. I, my fists do most, more damage than most weapons. True, true that. And if the weapon that does more damage than my fist, I can't use because I don't have proficiency in I see. Beautiful thing about our week's downtime, ladies and gentlemen, you can learn those proficiencies. So I could basically learn light armor proficiency or something? Provided there's nothing in the rules that state that you can't wear armor. So like, though they say they can't, you can't wear armor because you're not proficient in it. You know, if there's nowhere in the rules that say, you know, wearing armor causes this, even if you're proficient in it, so you could technically learn that proficiency from someone in the team who is proficient in light armor. In all armor or just you know, straight medium look and heavy? That? What was that? Oh, I was just asking if I was proficient in uh, all armor or just uh, the heavier shit. I would assume all. But I wouldn't mind uh, teaching... Um, Teaching old thing about the uh, straps and buckles and plates and whatnot. You are proficient in yeah. light, medium, and heavy, all three. All right. Do I notice set. Fane having a little bit of, a little bit of, um, well, lust towards his looking at the uh, armor stance? Negative, sir. My body is my armor. Unarmored defense, monk. All right. Wearing armor is about as useful as a ashtray and a motorcycle for him. Oh. Wait, then who wanted armor? <laughs> Melano, the sorcerer. That's true. Yeah. Oh yeah. I need to. Oh? I need to learn to be proficient in it first before I can use it, though, because I otherwise can't cast spells. No, I. Uh, yeah. All right. I'd like to, uh, mm. you know, roll to uh, sit down and uh, we'll take off my own armor and explain the details. I'm so Brent. Then explain the details of her shit. So see, see during a set, see between a session. If there's a week between a session and you're in the cassette doing nothing. During your week's downtime, that's what you would teach her. All right, but just, so just remind me of whenever complete... the time comes. Yeah, it's, it's just a completely yeah. passive thing. All right. Gotcha. Thank you. And just checking here, any You're character welcome. who's proficient in a particular armor can cast spells in that armor with no penalty. So once you become proficient, you could be proficient in heavy armor running around with a breastplate going, a fireball here, power word, power word kill there. I would and... need strength, 14 strength to wear the armor first. You get ASIs. True, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bryn to get bows and ar uh, bow and arrows. Uh, Renard, anything you are looking to buy? Or get from the quartermaster? Uh, you can also peruse the town. 
Um, I think all I need is a dagger. For some reason, I don't. I didn't get. I didn't pick a dagger. I'd like to have one just in case utility purposes. I have a dagger as well. Uh, Other than that, I also yeah. have a crossbow if you want. If you need one. Oh, I. I wouldn't mind using one of those. There you go then. And I give him my light crossbow and my 20 crossbow bolts. I'll just click import okay. these. That's a light crossbow you're saying, yeah? Yeah, light crossbow. Almost gave you a drow light crossbow, you'd love that. <laughs> Useless after an hour. Uh, I'll delete my not. item from my inventory. Crossbow. Yeah, you, you delete them and I will import them. Okay. I'll teach you all the ways of the plutonium and work. <laughs> crossbow bolt. You had 20 bolts, so 20 bolts. Oh, boo. There we go. 20 bolts and a light crossbow added to your sheet, Renard. Um, Sweet, thanks. Anytime. Finn, you getting anything from Quartermaster shops or such? Um, if you can write down, if I look through what he has, can I, uh, can you just run off the things that I see? Because I'm not sure what I would need that I wouldn't have bought already. Okay, when we get there, uh, really quick then, uh, Boralis, is there anything you can think of that you would require or like to have? Um, maybe a dagger. Okay. I can give you one of mine. I have two. Oh, okay. Oh, I wanted one of those too. Well, I wanted I... one off the quartermaster. Yeah, go right ahead. I mean, you can have both of mine. I don't need them. Fingers, I have two short swords as well that I don't need to use all the time as well. So I don't know if that is equal to a dagger. It's still a bit longer. A... No, a, da a dagger, the best way to think of a dagger is like a pocket knife. And yeah. a short sword would be about the length of your forearm. Yeah. And then your long sword would be like the length of your entire arm. Yeah. And then the great swords from your shoulder to your feet. What about rapiers? Same as a long sword, but bendy. Mm. You don't think I've thought of these things. There we go. A dagger on both sheets. So. Thanks. For use, uh, use our. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate that poor, poor Exodus isn't here to get his higher armor. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> For use, uh, oh yeah, Melanoy, are you looking to get anything at all? Mm. Do I need anything? Let me see if I need any. Via Sam. Um, materials or something like material but, component, yeah, that, that costs money. I do not think at this particular level, second level spells, I don't think there's anything that has a huge material cost. Into suit and salt, free component pouch, tiny, yeah. I mean, I'm looking just for those that, do, that are not free. Holy water or powdered silver and iron, which a spell consumes. That's the only thing that. What um, spell is that? Protection from evil and good. That's the free spell, I think, that I got. Yes. You don't have it. Because of how that spell is, I'm pretty sure you can cast. That's an innate spell cast. So, innate spell casting, by its very nature, you can cast that without components. Only if you're going yeah. to use a spell slot to use it, do you then need the component. Then I thought need anything a, I guess. I thought having a focus eliminates most costing materials. I think that's most of the standard stuff, like you know, holy water, dust, and that. However, yeah, everything that doesn't have a mon monetary component to it. Like if you want a however dust, however, mm -hmm. sorcerer. It's fine. I already the, have the power. The focus. Oh, it doesn't have a focus. 
Yeah, they're not wizards or clerics, so they don't need to focus mm. through anything. They are the arcane focus. I suppose. Is I don't know what the sorcerer would need though, because I haven't never played it the class before. As things come up, you'll be fine. So I will say as Fane runs, you know, briskly walks rather down through the building. Uh, what does everyone else wish to do at the moment? Apart from get dressed. Oh. Um. I'll see right now. It's, it's just going on then. Bane, as you go down through the building. You know, it's a relatively quiet morning for the most part. Guards are on patrol as you walk down through the I'll courtyard. Be right back after transitioning. You go down the stairs into the sort of almost underground area. Very well lit though. You see the, the guy, older man kind of sitting there behind the fenced gate as you are. All behind them, all manner of weapon. Anything that you can imagine would be in a fully stocked castle armory for a military. Lances, pikes, halberds, mace, quarterstaffs, daggers, short swords, crossbows, longbows. You name it, it's there. I'm also seeing Brim is down there as well because Brim's going to get bows and arrows. If you can imagine it, it's more than likely there, Finn. Okay, I will just, uh... Grab myself, uh, the right hand of Vecna. I guess. <laughs> Vecna would not exist, as this is a different world. Ah! Uh, okay, um... Pull that shit. He just says, you know what? It's there. <laughs> um, I guess, uh, can I fill up on food rations? No? Yes? Uh, Not here? I'll give you two days I'm worth. Gonna... That's fine. He's gonna... It's two days worth of rations out. He's gonna... Duh. What's this wall? Uh, we're on a journey right now. I don't... Can we, uh, get the ladder for him? Special task force. You uh got your badge? Do we have our badges? You were I'm sorry, them. I don't. You were given like patches, but we'll call them badges for. I'll. I've put mine on my clothes. Yeah, I'm gonna put mine on my clothes as well. He <laughs> looks at it and signs it off. Anything you don't use, bring back. All right. It's gonna. Gonna add. Not that's my sheet whenever I get in here. Yeah. I'll pop them on your sheet just now because I forgot that you're not here. So let's see, as you move aside, Bryn. He's going to pop on up as he kind of looks. And what are you having? Ah, we're going to have one of those days. Uh. Well, I don't want burn all my hands out of there and pull all that through. Can, can Bernie me? Yes, you can. I will just add on one longbow and arrows. If you will RNG as soon. And I will see you then as you are heading back into the courtyard. Is anyone doing anything else? There's time to leave and time to go. Your choices. Okay. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Okay. As you, you know, leave on through and down out the city, as it were. Altogether, you just travel for a bit of time on horseback. As you just travel for a time, uh, could someone roll me a d4? Oh, it's gonna be one of those days. 
as you start to leave after a short period of time. The lands around Calaman consist mostly of open fields and rolling hills with scattered dotted woods. To the south rises the Dragard Mountains, consistently cloaked with dark clouds and often spreading gloom across the land. I will say, due to your background and such, you know this as the Salamnic province of Nightland, which encompasses both the Dragand Mountains and Calaman. Lately said to be the land of eternal twilight where the sun never shines, but in reality it's just a gloomy place that sees frequent drizzles of rain. Unfortunately, today is one of those days where there is a frequent drizzle of late of rain. Yeah. And as you are passing on by and through, could someone roll me another d4? Oh, Mario! Anyone feeling brave? Right. Oof, Brawless, <laughs> and they were the two first. These are passing through this particular area. He's not. But from on the other side, you can hear <clears throat> rushing footsteps. You overhear some light jeering and shouting. Before coming down and through. Yep. Could everyone who is here right now make sure I'm on the right one. Can everyone just place where they are in the map? I put you in the bottom the left hand side, but you know. Give you the option to be where you want to be because I'm nice like that. Oh, Fane's here. Fane wants to be there. Uh, and just to also check, uh, Renard, you can move the warhorse and your token, correct? Yeah, yep. Uh, let me see. Uh, yep. Okay, okay. And where the red are. You know, let's just say Bryn stays where Bryn is because Bryn, Bryn be like that sometimes. You know? As it were. From round the sort of raised encampment, you see rather odd surmounting of few people running as they are running up they almost seem to be gleeful gleeful and joyous as they do it's yourselves roll for initiative mm. just bandits don't worry Unfortunately, I think I said I'm gonna use these roll tables to fuck. I may use these roll tables. I didn't use them last time. We're using them this time. Well, the Dragon King of the South almost sounds like a fun name. Uh, it's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> 28. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those days, mate. Let's see how I roll. Mm -hmm. 15. Oh wait, is this is this combat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. I've already got you ah. rolled in, you just need to roll the actual um what you, call it? you just need to roll the actual thing. The dice. Yep. It's not just me, right? This music's really fucking quiet. Yeah. Oh, 
there we go it was just me having it turned down so in in the beninging in the beninging <laughs> I love it <laughs> Morales you are up first he's gonna see running behind this very generic looking grizzled man with his pirate like mate <laughs> Is they gonna look towards grins on their faces as they do? And watch as he points at yourself. And now we are pocket contents, and you get to go home. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Double it and pass it to the next person. <laughs> and then with a have a short arm with a long bow. Yep. Uh, which one are you shooting at? Um, I have the bandit caption. A seven will miss as you can. Kind of it goes off. Let me check. So I think you now have. You don't fuck. Is it level 5 you get extra attack? I think it is. Yes. Yeah, level 5. Yep, it's level 5. Sadly. I thought you all got extra attack at level 4. Oh well. I uh, did anything else your turn there, my guy? Uh, Where was it? Can you can I use Favoured Foe? Uh, Favoured Foe is a special, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, Favoured Foe is a special, so you can just... Use it. You can just point at someone that is now your favourite foe. Alright, okay. So the same guy, Bandit Captain. Wait, uh, yeah. Can I, did, I roll it? No, that's alright. Uh, when you attack, you would then roll the additional d4. Right, okay. That's what I'll do right now, as I don't really have a condition that works too well for it. So let's say that he is... Marked. So we know. Did it answer your turn, Mom? Nah. Cool, cool. Move over. Melano. I would like to hold my action, Moonfire, until one or bo or two of the bandits like are five feet within each other and reach like my range, 60 feet. So anything that kind of passes this threshold here? Yeah. Okay, okay. And if they're two like together, then I would like to hit them both. No problem. Yeah, I heard you say I would like to, and I don't know why I thought rage. <laughs> ah, mean, yeah, it's the sorcerer rage. raging. I mean, I could make a source source then. Wild magic sorcerer and wild magic barbarian. That's sorcerian. <laughs> Did it else your turn there? No. Okay, okay. Then it is the bandito's turn. He will move to here right now as he does. Watch as he pulls out a little crossbow. As he does. You know, looks yourself dead in the eye, Boralis. So, Captain! Fires 21 for 7. Oh, I think I. Yeah. He's gonna watch his feeling happy with it. He wants to get the cocks in his next one and. Looks to his little mate. You know, he's, only, he's just going to make him running forward as well. I need to make sure I have the right numbers here because light crossbows only have a certain range. And they are together, so my moonfire goes off. Um, they're before your moonfire. They're just before your moonfire. Oh, this range. Yeah. Okay, I thought. So this, okay, never mind. So your moonfire is what, 60, 70? 60. So that there is actually 70. So your moonfire is actually. Um, Over what here. The fuck. Yeah. And so your moonfire value quickly. Keep that there. Hold that there. I mean, that was like weird. <laughs> Angles. Uh, right, here's what we'll do. Um, 
let's run a new line just to be safe. You want to get me a 60 from where you are right now? So pop it there, 60, okay. And you want to move it uh, three blocks north. And that end, you want to run it three blocks south. That's just fucking weird. See, so yeah, if they pass this, uh, I'll see if they pass, pass, pass the blue <laughs> threshold. Uh, so I'll okay. put us back and I'll let you reroll damage and such as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bandit here. Gonna cocks it out. Looks towards the man in the horse. Fires at the man on the horse. Really wants your horse, mate. A 20 for 5. Well, you got some top group on you. Mm, he was aiming at me or my horse? You. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Either way it hits. I'm knowing the wrong things. Can I? Mm. What's the happy tan? The big man. Okay. <clears throat> because the cast. What's he gonna? gets down and rushes up, dashes on and towards yourself. It's two daggers in hand. It does. God damn. Not parting with what's in your pockets. Melano. Yeah, I'm doing this. A 16 just saves. You're gonna fire it off. You want you gonna dart to the side for running craze in his eyes. You did use his action to dash, can't do anything else. Bane. Good chat, mate, good chat. <laughs> You're muted, by the way. He's filling his fat face with that apple crumble. I'm jealous. Hey, this is why I see these things. Myself. Is it your turn? It's your turn, yes. It's okay. Oh, same thing. Getting down from here. Uh, it's not an issue. You could easily slide down at using equal amounts of movement. So it looks about 10 foot. You could slide down with 10 foot. No issue. Okay. I forgot mm -hmm. this fucker's got 60 foot of movement. Here. Nice. Also, I think as a reaction, you can slow fall. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I can. Yeah, so it wouldn't really matter. You could have. But yeah, you can have. Come down with 50 foot of movement. And uh, I'm gonna end my turn here. <laughs> Alright. The little man who has watched you come down kind of comes at late crossbow, fires on towards Fane. A 17 for 2 on Fane as he hit. I got you. Um, yeah. Whacked. It's a catch missile and throw it back at him. Right. Now that there. <laughs> seen this coming. I did see this coming as well. <laughs> so, um, what you need to do, uh, third level, use your reaction to catch a missile you hit. When you do so, take the damage from the attack. So, roll a one. Ah. Uh, roll 1d10. And add your dex mod and monk level. So 1d10 plus 3. 1d10 plus 7. Okay. In fact, don't bother. Do not bother. Bother? It was a 2 on the damage. Okay. <laughs> You're going to reduce it. Um. So, you know, going to fire off. You catch the missile in hand. What do you wish to do? You know, throw it back at. Burn a key point then. Um, and then you make a ranged attack, so you need to do uh, 1d20 plus your proficiency, plus your dexter, so 1d20 plus 7 against the armor class of the bandit. Okay. Uh, okay. However, However dot, dot, dot. you will be making it at disadvantage. Well, I'll just throw it down. Forget, forget. It's twenty foot, sixty foot. So in and past twenty foot, this in and past sixty's gone. Oh uh, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I'll uh, just throw. 
Yeah. Then you can give yourself the key point back, I believe that. Mm-hmm. Tikra looks Ish. very sad. Maybe. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this. Well, I, got, I, I guess In the 84 but... years. <laughs> okay. Howdy, uh... Howdy duty. You're my favorite deputy. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh... Just, 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 just a light little smack. As you bring in the battle axe to come down, very dexterous is this man. You miss, unfortunately. Do you wish to do anything else with your turn at all? Mm, nope. That'll that'll be it, I guess. Renard, uh, for this one here, uh, similar to Gunner, because the horse is an intelligent creature, it acts on your initiative. It can do its own thing. You can also control it to do those own things. Um, for the sake of it, however, your movement is intertwined, so you technically have 60 foot of movement because horse. Yep. Happy. Change. I had to look these rules up, Ooh. by the way. <laughs> I'll go here. Can the horse go first? Uh, I believe it's either or. It just says it acts on your initiative. So... Oh, baby, he's crippled. <laughs> uh, 26 for an at 20. Well, obviously hit for 16 damages. The horse... Oops, into him. Check, uh, yep. Then announce your turn. A 9 for 9 and 1 will, however, miss. Alright. That's right. Then announce your turn. Uh, nope. That... Let me look. No, no, no. Double check. Double check. Double check. Sorry, uh, as you switch. Uh, yeah, I think I'll hunter's mark that son of a gun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to burn it off there real quick? Yep, let me find it. There it is. Hunter's mark. So that's an additional two it says right now, but you can re-roll it after every turn. So don't worry. Brass. Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Right. Wait, no, hunter's Did mark. you say I need to roll something? No, not you. You're fine. It's uh, the Hunter's Mark for Renard. Any uh, kind of excuse. You said roll a d4 last time and I, it was something to do with um, favoured foe. Yeah, when you hit, you can ah, add okay. an additional d4 to the damage. How about, yeah. Right. Going for the yeah, yeah. caption. Oh, fuck's sake. It's not in your favour <laughs> tonight as you fire up once more. <laughs> Just misses. I say just, that's, that's not just. <laughs> I was looking misses. the wrong way. <laughs> one in shots, mate, one in shots. Yeah. Did it else your turn there? Uh, can I use Hail of Thorns? I don't. I uh, don't let me check. Hail of Thorns, con, next time. You can have it, yeah, you can use it and then, um, yeah, you can burn it off, and then when you hit, we roll for it, so on you go. Alright, And if I'm fucking this up at all, John can tell me. Uh, no, you hit a creature with a range attack, weapon attack, with a spell ends, that's make the dex area save and throw, yeah? Yeah, so it makes the dex save throw after it, so yeah. Good thing too. Did it know your turn? <clears throat> no. Sure. Melano. I would like to move... 15 feet. But they're within 60 foot range or something. No, wait, uh, you need to probably move to about here, I would say, to get them in that range. Well, let, me see, let me check. Let me check for you, okay? I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, they'd this... be 55. That's them 65, 60. Yeah, this is 60 over there, right? So these there. these two here are within 60. I'm mean, sorry, this one mm -hmm. here is within 60. And these two here are 65. <clears throat> the... Wait. It says from where I am that they're like 60 feet. No, that's 60 foot in front. So that's in front of them. They are 65 themselves. The space in front of them is 60. But this one yeah, but... here is 60. No, but I'm casting Dust Devil on the mo on the both. It's a five feet cube. That makes sense. <clears throat> 
So, a five foot cube, I would have to quickly just move to half seas. And they both make strength saves? Yep. Number one, top. Fail. Number two, not one. Uh, so they both fail, so what's the result here? They take five bludgeoning damage and are pushed ten feet away from the dust devil. So they both So... Fail. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Better announce your turn. Um... I'll gu I guess I'll bonus action move the dust devil a little bit. Um, how do I pick the um, spell up? The tail command. See the little measurements. There's a little like, L shape with a ruler, like a tri uh, I think the word I'm looking for there is tri square. Like a tri square. If you click mm. that, you should then get the little box for the thing, and you can move it. Okay, so I'm gonna move it like ten feet, I guess. Okay, that's shit. I've never used Dust Devil before, so this is new for me as well, so don't worry. Uh, a lot of things new for me this night. These bonus action, you can move the Dust Devil 30 feet in any direction. Okay, right, and then uh, I'm assuming it's another strength save. Oh, uh, yeah, and if the Dust Devil moves that's over fine. sand, or dust, loose dirt, or dry gravel, it sucks up the material and forms a 10 foot radius cloud of debris around itself that lasts until the start of your next turn. It heavily obscures the its area. Okay, and let's see if they save. Do they take half as much damage? Um, it's a spell, so yeah. Yeah. Half as much damage and isn't pushed. So it saves on a nat twenty. It takes two. Then it ends your turn. Mm. I'll damage against foes is rounded up. Move backwards. Yeah. Oh, that was Avernus. That was for the Avernus. I thought one that was around. just a stand. Uh, D &D I thought rules. that was a standard. I'll double check it for you to be safe. Like, you know, keeping me right is what you guys do. Did I get a jump? You mean favorite foe? That was just for your character. No, no, no. Uh, damage to enemies rounded. So I think it was only for Avernus it was rounded up, so I'm checking. Um, I think for Avernus I rounded down on players and up on enemies. Because Yeah, I just so thought that was a standard rule. Now there's a few little things as there were a few little things I done on there because you saw how bad it, it turned out in the end you just had to get someone to fill a place to beat fucking Sariel. Uh always rounded down regardless it's in here, so that's the rule for that okay. one there. Let's go. You don't know, I could have been doing it right the whole time. There's rules that I didn't realise I was doing by the book. For over a year. <laughs> it's better than you're doing there, Melano? No, I moved backwards, like, yeah, behind so, the I mean, rock. Is that, is that everything you were doing, like, after the movement? Yeah. Well? yeah. Yeah, that's everything. Cool. Well, he banned it, well. Yeah. Ooh. Using it. Run scimitar up towards Fane. Drum dead in the eye. As he does, he looks at you, Fane. And he concentrates very hard on you. The other one will run up to here as he does. Sees Bryn. Poor Bryn, looking so cute and, you know, helpless, truly. 20 for 4 on the short, the uh, light crossbow. These light crossbows are fucking deadly. The bandit captain, as he does, he's gonna scimitar in hand, will swing at the horse, then Renard, then Bryn. Oh. Horse, Renard, Bryn. Renard, you are a miss. Bryn is a miss. The horse is the only one that takes any damage of a nine. Horse, he takes nine slash damage. Bane! Uh, Bryn is a who now? Oh, it's not my turn, never mind. Okay. Uh, it was a damage to you, but it missed. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, please. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I have to. Wait, I was swinging that one handed, so I still have my shield equipped. Yeah. Okay, good. 
A 17.49 will hit Fane if you do. <laughs> and he drops to the dead. He's dead! He's dead! <laughs> <laughs> the nine done him, he had six health. Okay. Uh, the nine done him. Do we heat up your assignment cakes? We're gonna move over here with 30 feet. Okay, we'll have a strength save. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Alright, anybody want some jello? I'll take some yeah. popcorn. Jello shot. Oh, John. Also, <laughs> uh, also, it's heavily... also the I cloud can't... is heavily obscured, so. I would assume it's, 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 it's mainly mud here, raining. So. Okay. But I still need. Yeah, do I? Do you think. So I can hit with. My action and a bonus action. Do those? Do those? Both of those have to be for the same person? No, you can hit one and then move on over to hit someone else. So in, so I can. So if I wanted to hit these two, could I flurry of blows and hit him with one and hit him with one? Well, you've already hit one with one, so yeah, you could. I used you could hit again. Um. However, with that, I'd class it as the 11, which would be a miss. That's fine. Uh, with the flurry of blows, you'll count that as a miss. No, you, you, do you not have secondary attacks? Yeah. No, I do not. It's, it's level 5 for everyone. Sorry, that's on me. So yeah, you'd need to flurry of blows and then the 11 for 9 would miss. Yes? No? The 11 for 9 would just miss. Okay. How um, I'll do... Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Did it? Did him with the eleven for nine minutes on him. That's fine. I moved over there with thirty. So, Oop, why do we zoom in? Strength save, sir. You're in. You're in the dust cloud. Cast by Melano. You're in the dust devil. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. There's no uh, area for it though. Yeah, I there can't. is. There is. It's just grey. It's just, you got to zoom in a fair bit, but it's there. Everyone else sees it. It is just a cyan blue, which does make it a little bit hard to see in this map. I see. Okay. You see that? Oh, I can no, do you dirty. No, I, I just can't see it. <laughs> I can see clear. It's right now. over here. Let me just draw it. You have your glasses on, Drake? I, I can't see it. It's this. You got your... Oh, hold on. That's me. Hold do you on. See the, do you see the pink stuff? One sec. I have to show you. I can't see it. I can see it. I can see her pink square. I can see the. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> That's the area of effect. We we've said worse. I we have said. Wait, oh, he's got he's got the webcam on. Let's see. Zoom right in. Oh no, he the, the 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 square is actually missing around him. Yeah, that's odd. Um, yeah, I. D <laughs> don't you worry. I'll fix that. You know, I'm a loving and caring person. And by that, I mean a complete and total asshole. There you go. Hopefully you see it now. Hopefully. Do I still have to... <laughs> still have to make that strength save, mate. She's concentrating on the spell. Unless you want to use all your movement to run up there and elbow her in the face. Uh, can you make that strength save for me? It's not coming up. Of course. Thank you. An 11. Uh, do you want to roll the damage for that for me there, please? Uh, the uh, dust devil again. Three. Fane, you take three bludgeoning damage. Okay. Do you wish to do right now, Sir Tom? No, that's fine. Okay. Well, the bandit is in here as well, and I believe he'll have to make the same strength saving throw regardless. Mm-hmm. And that one, so he'll also grab that three. Mid on the same okay. round. Okay. Okay. Not too happy with that, but we'll make do to attack the monk in front of him. 
a six for six will completely miss. Bryn. Good in. That's speed of things. Uh Brindle Battle Axe. Twenty-two for five will hit. And I'll move it over to Renard and his horse. Yeah, let's just do it again. Again. And an 18 for 15, so 15, 27 damage. Woo! Just gonna boom, whoosh, you know, watch as the wind cauterizes as you cut through. You done it else your turn there, Mama? Uh, da, 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 da. Let me look, let me look, let me look. No. Well, I got to do the Hunter's Mark damage. Did I already get that? I didn't put that on, so yeah, you get. I think you get to roll that because it's another rolled. I'm here! It's alright, yeah, 1d6, mate. Additional 1d6. I, I took your turn for you. Yeah! Oh, thank you. Additional 5 damage. Did anyone else your turn there, my guy? Uh, no, 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 no. Nope. 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 Ooh, top around three, Boralis. Right, I'm gonna hit. This is gonna work. Believe in you. For the... Believe in the heart <laughs> of the cards. You can do it. Yeah, uh, the bandit captain again. <laughs> we didn't believe hard enough. No. Is that you did it in your turn, man? Can I try and shoot myself? I'll probably miss. Yeah, I'll probably... <laughs> Crits. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's it, I'm done. Crits at disadvantage. Well, no. I would like to cast Firebolt on this guy over here. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, no <laughs> side goal. Let me. I'm sorry. Uh, let me go ahead and send this. A 15 Ooh. will just hit for 9. You still standing? I've seen okay. better days, but still standing. And uh, why am I just move it? I would like to move this 15 feet. Yeah, uh, I'll get that for you. Why am I just it's cause, because it's one that I had to make? So don't worry, ah, okay. I got it. Uh, well, fuck. Could you just please and thank you? Don't there we go. Move Pour it, it in my face. Fifteen foot two here. Yeah, okay. and then he will roll the strength save. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you roll the damage. You turn um, to new damage. Yeah, I know. Just let me S scroll up. Or, yep. Wait, natural. He failed or succeeded? Too? He takes half damage. Okay. Then I know your turn. Um, I'll move a little bit over here. That's me. Another tree. Go. Yep. See what bandit is. That's the one in the storm. He will come running out. Is it classed as difficult to rain before I do this? Um, I don't think so. It have a, it obscures its area, so. But he said it's just mud. He's running in a straight line. Yeah. yeah takes a look at Boralis as he does. Slashes 21 for 2. Well, hit, and I just need to check. Boralis, uh, could you also make a constitution saving throw for me, please, to maintain concentration? DC 10. Uh, no. If I can find it. On your sheet, con, click con, and it should come up save. Con. I can never find con. It's my bad. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
my life. You're alive, no. however, your um, <laughs> your heal of thorns concentration <laughs> drops. Didn't even get to use the spell. Hmm. Eat bandit captain. Not too happy with the thrashing that he has been receiving. Well, take his scimitar once more and fire to Bryn, then Bernard, and then Bryn again. Bryn, Bernard, Bryn. All three miss. Oh, good, because I couldn't see any of those. Spain. <laughs> Sheelan. Didn't realize I was muted. Don't make me play monk. I fucking hate monks. <laughs> Not as much as I hate artificers, but that's a separate story. Um, so let me just look at something and measure it out really quickly now is not the time now is not the time like she can wait <laughs> 30 foot line so we'll do this okay right behind him is just about 30 feet without hurting anybody how do I do? delete that? How do I delete that? I'll get it for you. Don't worry, what are you trying to do? Thank you, sir. So, what I am going to do is move back behind him. And I am going to do my dragon's breath. Make that uh, lightning. So, A 30 foot line hitting both of these people right here. And moving away, you do. How long is that line? I do not provoke an opportunity to attack, sir. Please don't say that. <laughs> Why do you not provoke an opportunity of attack? The mobile feet. Got me. <laughs> I forgot you took the mobile feet. It's cool. Yep. You just <laughs> walk away. In fact, do you? I want to check it. I want to check it. Make it my way. <laughs> okay. See, uh, when you make a melee attack against a creature, you don't opportunity on that turn. So that was a 20 for 5. You didn't hit it on this turn. You had that last turn. I did. Oops. So, so I was supposed to hit him before I leave? Yep, you can literally walk up to them and go, eh, and then walk walk away. And they just have to take it like a bitch. Oh, okay, he can hit me then. <laughs> Don't worry, it was almost made with advantage, and then I'm like, hold on, that was the other guy. He's dead now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I uh, link it for you. Whether you hit or not, as well. So uh, I, I link it for you, and then it's a private reveal. So yeah, you can hit my smack. No, hit my smack with the or hit. Yeah, don't worry. I read over it whenever you were reading over it. So a thirty-foot line from where you are to the bandit captain that ends right before Renard. So it's just gonna send you. This is gonna tickle Renard's beard a little bit, but that's it. So I'm just going to place this here as such, and then... Let me go ahead and uh, roll the... Roll it. That is, however, still a d4, because that's your... what I... Yeah, that's what I hit for. Yeah, so it's using your martial art die, is it saying there, yeah? I'm sorry? It's using your martial, art, martial arts die? Yeah. One in front saves, bandit captain also saves. Do they still take half damage at curiosity? Probably one sec. Uh rest of the dragons shut Oh, you are exhaling fire. Um What's the damage type? I'm gonna say it's uh let's make it acid, why not? Half make as it fun. much, okay. Uh, your martial art your martial art die is a D4 right now to my knowledge. I'll just double check it. It should be. Yep, still a d4. Uh, so if you want to roll me one d4, please, sir. They both succeeded? I yep. thought it was half of three of my martial art die. Oh, uh... Um, Is it not? Two. It's two of your martial art die. Oh, okay. So roll me two d4. Okay. I was about to say it comes up four, six. Cool. Well, three on the first one you said this was what damage again? 
Acid. Acid. He's just kind of watches this black, thick tar just in a straight line. As the guy in front of you starts screaming, the bandit captain wailing down on his knees comes down. He's kind of watches his back start burning away. Did anyone else your turn? Nothing at all. Bandit. Not very happy with that one. Watched you run away. Runs up to you after having you kill his mates. I'm doing 18 for 7. Mm hmm. Hitting people's mates. How dare you. Bryn. Wonderful. Fresh with the uh, fury and spite of having orange juice under my fingernails, I am going to move over here. Hello, buddy. You. You get my special attention. I'm going to unequip my shield. Drop that shit two-handed. Wait, is it two-handed two swing? Uh, it's a battle swing. act versatile for that. It is. So yeah, you'll do 1d10 plus mod on a hit, so we'll take a different damage. So yeah, you want to go ahead and drop it. Roll the hit. Cool. And do you want to roll me 1d10 plus three, please? Sure. Uh, let's see, that is a d8, that is a d10, plus what? Uh, plus three. One d10, plus three. An 11. He's going to watch as Bryn brings up the battle axe, and she does just... <laughs> straight down this poor guy. Off to oblivion with him, to the Shadow Realm. Why he's not went invisible, I'll never understand. Did anything else you turn there, Bryn? Uh, no, just screaming in agony with this orange juice under my fingernail. Chill. Sure. Not <laughs> orange juice under your fingernail. Like it's not bad. I'm peeling mandarins, and they have especially thick skin, and I have especially short nails. Oh no! Nail. Ah, oh, oh mandarins. So uh, blah, 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 blah. this is not orange. For the sake of nutrition. For the sake of nutrition. This guy is going to take. The hoof attack. Yes. Roll. Did I not roll? There we go. 14 there for 15 will hit. As With a trampling charge. It's not necessary, mate. Okay. He so. has um he has six health left. <laughs> He's gone. To the Shadow Realm. He's gonna bring it in and <laughs> Bye, Felicia. He drops to the ground. As he does. The land now seems quite peaceful once more, all things considered. There's the last guy. There he is. I'll pop these guys here once. There we go. This side. We'll just keep this up just in case, you know? As you look around this flattish, what we could call barren land, the rain still drizzling down to the point it's, it's loud enough that you'd have to raise your voice just a little, but you're not shouting to be heard. Oh. Puddles, puddles are quite, you know, quite deep in certain points, but you listen in, you don't hear anything else coming. Nothing seems to be on its way. We have uh, two paladins here, so they're not going to do it. And they seemed happy coming from somewhere. I'm assuming we just put their bodies over here. I want to check them. All of them. Uh, all right. Give them a nice hat down. If you're going to check all of them, I'm going to say sleight of hand or investigation. Rather than doing multiple rolls, just give me one roll with disadvantage. Sleight of roll, sleight of hand, or investigation, you said? Yeah, sleight of hand's like patting them down and investigating's like, you know, stripping them down bit by bit. You know, singing, okay. singing them songs. Okay. I'll, roll, I'll roll the table for each and every one of them, obviously. Okay. So yeah, at this, if you want to hover over that, hit the little negative. At disadvantage? That way I've got two rolls. Think about it. Four of them, two of, four of them. Two rolls rather than roll it just because I can take both numbers. Okay. 10 and 22, and it also gives me a big number on the left. 
<laughs> so, as you pat down and through them, you find on their bodies a nice small mirror set in a painted wooden frame. That is a very nice, clean, unbroken mirror, given everything that's going on. Previous owner, not too sure. Mm. You also find a nice set of engraved dice to add to your collection. A opaque black gemstone. Um, obsidian. That's what it's made of. Something you'd know, being a dragon type. And a nice transparent pale blue quartz. Okay. I'm going to put those all away and look through them later. I'm going to drag you... them on your sheet. Can you make the dice um, public? Thank you. For the loot. Oh, there there it has pockets. That's his loot right now. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, This is, uh, this is crazy. Not so crazy, actually. Pair of engraved bone dice. Dice to add to your collection. Okay. I ain't gonna lie when I say right now, the roll table for that rolls on another roll table. And it, it just on <laughs> It just happened to roll on the cheaper roll table every time. It's a 1d20, mm. you see it there. I was hope I was hoping to find the Ten Commandments, but not today. Ah, oh, sorry, different mountain, different mountain. The original slabs. <laughs> different mountain. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, see, so, uh, given that, uh, do you wish to continue? Oh, right, I'm or... back again. Uh, I'm going to gonna... better, take a break, you know. Uh, I want to try and heal. I take a short rest. Yeah. yeah. Burn an hour on short rest. Um, for the horse, it's hit dies one d ten. So Renard, uh, roll for the horse's HP. I'll say it's got as many hit die as you to be safe. So it's got Hi. three hit die of d ten. How fast does a horse move? I mean, run. One. <laughs> 55 uh, miles per hour. 60 foot. Oh lordy. How many? Uh, I knew that. I knew that it was in this game, but I just wanted to know in IRL sense. There's 10. Why well, don't you get on a horse and find out? Horses. We're not, the, we're not in the south anymore. I mean, you're in the southern part of Maryland, and Maryland is technically, technically. Just RG out here doxing people like no biggie. Oh, shit. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm, anyone else? I'm, I'm sorry. It's alright. Uh, we'll, uh, short rest if you want to take a short rest and burn some hit die to get it back, by all means. I mistakenly exited out of the I brow. would like to stop concentrating on the spell and shape some rain into, like, so that the, the horse can drink or something. With shape water can't trip. Yeah. You can lead a you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. I mean whilst he's got you, can you there. Take a man out of, you can take a man out of buoy, but you can't make him stop banging. Can't say I've heard that one before. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it um into the shape of a carrot or an apple. Okay. Uh for anyone else who is burning hot die before we go on. Oh yes, me. Uh, I'd like to burn some something. Hit die, anything. How 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 might one do that? Take a little bite of that apple crumb. Se- uh, I've been shouted, so you stick a little second there. I'm gonna quickly figure out what's going on because that's not a shout for dinner. That's a shout for something. Give me, give me one second. Give me one second, Jalen, baby girl. <laughs> How much do you do the short rest? Is you click short rest and then roll and then click rest or just click rest once you get onto that little screen?
Anyone know? Hmm? How do you take a short rest? Like you click it and then it. it... You oh, click on the little. Mm -hmm. Open your sheet. Yeah. The little bed sim. The little bed symbol symbol below your character picture. Yeah. Click on the one in the middle, or to the the one that looks like an hourglass. Short rest. With... Yeah. Like yeah, that's it. And then yeah. Do you click roll or do you click rest when that screen comes up? Um, you can hit. Pick how many d how many uh, hit dice you want to roll, then hit roll. I only have one option. Oh, three. I want you can roll with it. You can roll it again if you want. I think. How many hit die did you have? Should show still more available. I got four. And these reset what every day. These reset after a long rest. Uh, You know, that's just a piece of shit. But that was almost a max. You well, rolled yeah, two max hit dice. Yeah, that's what I mean. It goes, the it first goes one was a... I only needed, what? What would it have been? Uh, like, eight? So I've rolled two, and then I've rolled ten. So now I'm full. Which is good, but... Yeah. It was dinner. Gonna make play D and D really hard unless we get into combat again. Nice dinner. It's tacos. Mm. Oh, tacos! It also Never happens to be Tuesday. Before. Also happens to be Tuesday. No taco correlation. <laughs> no, come on, Taco Tuesday. It's not a thing we do. Me We're white, but we ain't that Me white. Mex Mexican Monday. There's one for Wednesday that's offensive. <laughs> at least, at least here in the states. <laughs> Oh, we did with you guys. <laughs> yes, we'll see. Uh, ben, you've taken a short rest. You've taken a short rest. Uh, Bren, were you taking a short rest? Was Fane taking a short rest? Fane, who is also muted. Yes, Fane is taking a short rest. I just need to uh, get back into the server. That's right. Uh, so I'll burn your hit die for you, okay? Thank you, sir. Until I'm full. Uh, you got a two. You got a six. Mm. Got mm. seven and you're full. Mm. Yummy. I'll uh, make it a point to eat some rations today as well. Drink some water. That's in my, uh, I have a water skin. I can give care. three of you five max hit points with aid. Who wants them? I think we're all good right now. I don't know. Who Hello. didn't? <laughs> I mean, right. because I can. <laughs> if we get into any more fights. Draven? Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to kindly need you to unlock uh, your bedroom window. Gotcha. Oh, but... lovers. Scandalous. You know what I'm using? The barbed. What was it? Barbed arrows? Yeah, barbed arrows. Do I need to roll anything extra when I'm shooting them? Not that I'm gonna hit anything, but the barbed, oh, how do I take a hit the barbed arrows, um those are set to do those are oh, set to shells. remove. So when you hit something with it for that turn, they have a they have neg they lose ten foot of movement. I'll keep it on lock tonight. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I will say right now, just to keep the flow of things, keep things moving on. Also, be sitting here all week. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Do not lie. Use. Move on through. It's a rather uneventful few hours after that. There is no good thing. It's not an experience campaign. Exodus would be fucked. <laughs> but it is uneventful. You just go through a little more of the hinterlands, highlands, nightlands, whatever you want to call them. The rain does eventually subside. After a while, you start kind of hearing more odd sounds. Eventually, as you draw up closer, upon a hill, <clears throat> 
there stands a rather unusual structure. There's a photo with this. I'm scrolling to get to it as fast as I can, guys. <laughs> it does, uh... The structure seems to resemble both a cottage and a metal fortress. It bristles with steaming pipes and wine devices, and currently it is under siege. Amid <laughs> clanging metal Ooh. contraptions, as you draw in closer, goblins try to breach the structure, impending, impeding by gadgets that spin, snap, thrash, and make all manner of odd noises in the yard. Every few moments, a gnome appears from a clock face above the door and starts hucking a new weird clockwork oh, calamity shit. out. Um. As, it, oh. as it attacks, oh. you hear it hurling insults out the window. Have an image. This is rather <laughs> blonde looks amazing. gnome being attacked by quite a few goblins. The goblins wear dark armor with a spiral symbol. The same one that seems to be worn by your good dragon friends. As it were, let me know when y'all can see. How many, uh, how many goblins? Uh, you make about ten. Yes. I see. I see. I see Partially. fields of green. I see fields of green. I see. By any chance, are you seeing like a? Are you see like a big black lane just running up here for no reason? Yeah. Yeah, sure uh, do. I'm glad we're all seeing that. Because I don't know what the fuck is causing that. There's I don't I don't think I see that, but what I what I do see is um what is that? I I'm I, I'm seeing them bloom for me and for you. <laughs> and I think to myself what a wonderful world. I'm going to quickly do a reset on this map for you. I think everybody knows where this is going to go anyway, so let's let's not pretend I'm not doing you any favours. I'm delaying the inevitable. Delaying the slaying of many, many small creatures. I've taken everything off. Let's try just taking off token vision. Uh, you see, ah, see. where is that? Yeah. Yep. Do you see everything, including behind the walls? Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm getting a nice, ugly eyeful. Let's not worry, then. I don't care that you can see behind the walls. I'm not trying to hide anything. However... He's in the walls. He's in the goddamn walls. However, here's what I'll do. Um, <laughs> I'm going to delete all the tokens for some reason. Give me a moment and put them back out. Ah, they're not showing on the little thing. That's nice. Uh... Yeah. As you just draw up around the corner, seeing all of this shit. Can I have everyone roll for initiative? Initiative. <laughs> Initiating of. Oh man, make this burn. I warned. Oh my lord! Well, at least I know that after your turn, things happen. That sounds bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It could be worse. It's just because I minimised that I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> See, Boralus, Melanon, Bryn, Renard. Uh, I am just missing Bane. Why do I roll so high for initiative but then can't hit shit? You know, the luck of the dice, my guy. The luck of the dice. <laughs> you mean the fact there is no luck? I can't find my pills. This is problematic for a guy that can't eat cheese. He's about to sit down to something with cheese. There is no active combat encounter in your scene. You see oh, all the goblins, right? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just reading. Sorry. 
what it says. Right, cli right click on your token, and he there's a so two swords and a shield toggle that's what on, that's you. Right. on the right. I've, I've rolled you, my guy. Go. I've rolled you, and uh, if you want to roll your own initiative, can. Bro, mm. where are my? I know where my pills are. My pills are with my D and D books. Do you know why? Your pills. Yeah. Making sure I can move really quickly. That's a good way to keep them, keep track of them, I guess. I only need to take the pills when I eat cheese. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh yeah, those. Yeah, I I just casually forget where mine's are. I have them stashed everywhere, and I still forget. You think I can oh. risk eating without? You think I can risk that at this moment in time? This is a high stress situation, my friend. Like my thing says, no active encounter. I mean, shit. I had cheese this morning. Without a without a dairy pill, and um, I'm just prolonging the inevitable. Try now. There's it builds, no. It builds core strength to to, uh, to discipline yourself to sit here this whole time with that. Hey. It builds character. I, I've rolled you in. You got a twenty-two. Okay. Ill. Ill. Well, let's see if this says nope. So. Mm. <laughs> At least I'm not dead last. Nope. That would be me. I have the camera on. Yes. Look, look at it, it's oh, Scottish I view. Didn't mean, I didn't mean it that way. You went Scottish. Don't worry, so I what? will I will keep you updated on how things go. Because I will let you know when it's your turn and what to do and all the rest of it. Because I am nothing if not considerate and a loving, caring... I'm not going to pretend. Mm. Not going to pretend. You, you know, you know I'm an asshole. <laughs> I like how the music came in as soon as you switched up. Baralas. First on deck. <laughs> you see numerous goblins assaulting this small house. I see numerous tacos on the... That's an empty taco. She's giving me an empty taco. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh... Take your time, mate. These tacos I mean, just, are not going to eat themselves. Just yeah. think of it as a very, uh, a very rudimentary, uh, unshapely tortilla chip. No, I have to attack for before we can use Hail Thorns, right? Because Hail Thorns. Mm. Is it not you have to attack then it's you can use it for the next turn? It's a bonus action, so you can initiate it now, and then if you attack, it goes. You don't okay. necessarily need to use action then bonus action. You can bonus action first. Okay, I just uh, re-rolled. I mean, reloaded the site. I'm I'm in here. You said we can bonus action, right? You can bonus action and then action. Yeah, nothing to stop you oh. doing that. Do Do I see Do I see that guy up there? Yeah. Okay. Technically, you shouldn't, but walls are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're we're just gonna say like we don't see that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How high, high are these outcroppings? Cause I'm sitting. Cause if I do, I'm going for him immediately. <laughs> so, um, you now need to make an attack for your hail of thorns yeah. to hit shit. So, uh, yeah, yeah. hover over okay. one and hit T or something. So that way I know what one you're hitting for. You say T. Yeah, T for target. Nice. Yeah. All right. This is it. This is the one. Uh huh. It was not the one. Uh huh. Hey. Six will miss, unfortunately. I'm doing anything else for your turn there, man. No. Don't worry. You're contributing. You're paid. Fane, 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 Fane. It's Fane's turn. What would Fane like to do? He's going to... If I can move my dice. Your dice? I'm sorry, my token. Thank you. Mm. We're gonna move here. Yep. Yeah. And I'm gonna throw a dart at this guy here. Which guy? That guy. Yep, yeah, kill him. He's with um Yeah. Uh that will mess. Eight for four will mess. You're also rolling privately. I am? Okay. That's right. I'm the only one that rolls privately here. Right here. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Goblin. 
The little thing isn't working. I don't fucking know what one. This one. This this one here. Oh, is it, is it working for you? Yeah. Yeah. Lucky. Is <laughs> he gonna fire that off? And as the darts give any kind of turns round, and as he does, pulls it his little short bow, fires off towards <laughs> Fane. Six for five. Completely fucking misses. Did Fane hit? Fane also missed. <laughs> okay. He's gonna move over onto here and kind of stand on the ledge, looking over. <laughs> ah! Well, no. Um, I would like to ca recast Dust Devil. Yeah. Uh -huh. And just. Right, uh, let me see. Five, ten. Well, that's embarrassing. Just, I'll just do it here uh -huh. for now and move it with my bonus action to like over here. Hmm. <laughs> I deleted it by mistake. You are a genius. I'm sorry. Right. Oh. I was trying to move it like right over here. Oh. We're looking to move it into here. Yeah. Push. Thank you. I was making sure that um, Then I'll. What? I'll make making my way over here. Under my handcuff. Did I know you're done? No. Ooh. Make him out down to walking fast. I'll punch both of you. I'll punch both of you. I hate right. that song. <laughs> I'm joking. Threats right there. Uh, Worst uh, thing you can ever do is be keeping me right. And that's why I'll always love you. As long as I keep running in, as he does, I just need to remember what I can and can't see because I can see everything because it's broken. He will take the. Short bow, fire off towards Bryn, 23-4-3. Which one? I think it's this one. Keep it wrong. Ah, I was wrong, it's one by the Dust Devil. No! I think everyone's basically out of range. Hmm. Oh no, fair Yeah, but um, these three goblins need to make saving throws. They're within five feet of the Dust Devil. Sorry. No, sorry, I'm just checking. Mm -hmm. um, that ends its turn within five foot of the Dust Devil. Okay, okay. What about passing through the Dust Devil? Well, that's my... I don't know. If they're pass through. Ah, but also, it. I moved it, so if there's any sand, dust, loose dirt, light gravel, it sucked it up, so this is like ten feet of there are, I'll say, I'll say there are little mechanical clankers. You know, like chattering, oh, yeah. like ch chattering teeth and all, wind up chattering teeth and little bits of copper and such flying around. This one here will run up and towards Fane, scimitar in hand, and miss completely. Someone keep me right, please. <laughs> Over here. Uh, well, he is. Far enough away, he sees. Does he see? Uh, he does see. Boralus is rather the word. So whether or not he hits Boralus normally. Only just. I'm gonna pose his little short bone. Ding! A 19 for 5 to Boralus. And he will move. Bren. Ah! Okay. First question Can I see that hobbly goblin up there? No. I can't see him good, just making sure. Alright. I'm gonna hobbly gobbly my way over here. And um let's see. User this yeah. guy. Um yeah, this guy. This guy. He is within thirty feet of me, within sixty feet. I'm gonna cast command. Uh oh. And I want him to approach. Oh. 
he unfortunately saves. He's mm. wise. He's a little too smart for my taste. I don't like that. Goblins have a negative one, by the way. <laughs> so like. Oh, he just rolled good. He's lucky. He's gonna hold it over him, tell him to approach. He's gonna looks at you. Middle finger. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna like real quick, like if I have dexterity too, I'm gonna like turn around real quick, bend over, my ass in the air. I'm looking at him between my legs. I give him the middle finger. <laughs> and then I end my turn standing back up and facing him. Oh, I love childish antics. <laughs> That's when he will run towards here, pass by his friend, Schwing Fane. 14 will miss Fane. Mm -hmm. so you're going to hear <clears throat> off in the back this rather rough and gruff voice that's Oh, arguably, Bane can see a little bit of. He can kind of make him out. He has given commands. He dare not approach. This <laughs> one here will turn to Renard, and as he does. Fine with a short bow, 10 for 7 will miss. Dex, yeah, not dex, strength save. 11. Me? Yeah, he's, he failed, he missed that. Oh. It's a 10, so don't worry. Uh, roll, what's the damage for the um, dust? What's the damage for the dust, your dust? Ooh, an onion ring. Don't mind if I do. He said, like, ooh, onion ring. Can I have the dust devil damage, please? Oh, yeah, um, 1d8, uh... Seven. Nice. Straight up fucking kills him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, this goblin just... What? He's one of the little... coppery contraptions just seems to embed in his head and he just collapses. He said, I'm straight up not having a good time, yo. <laughs> Uh, it's Goblin here. Well, run. And then he'll run a little more. Scimitar in hand, staring at Brent. That stupid because I made a whole apple crumble downstairs. <laughs> and so there's a whole apple crumble waiting for me to eat it downstairs? Thanks like that. Oh, well, who am I to deny fate? Glad it's right downstairs. <laughs> well, so I guess I better go get to work. Yep. Swinging in. We'll use this full dash. This one here will pull out the short bow, flying towards Boralus, 21 for 8. Well, swah, as it does, he will also have to make his little string. Completely saves. Uh, it was a 7 rolled down, nat 20 on the save. For a total of 19. <clears throat> the other one. Well, dash up over here, get a broad overview of everything that's going on. You watch, kind of cocks his bow, Renard. Onion oh, yeah, yeah. Onion ring. Hmm. Mm. I don't like being flanked. I'm going to target this guy with. Oop, not horse. I'm going to target this guy with my horse. Yeah, yeah. Bing, bang, boom. No. Uh, unfortunately, we'll miss. Alright, and then the horse, we're going to move up. Oops, too far. Just, just trample him. Tag this guy. 24 for 14, as you kind of watch as the horse just fucking gores this poor little guy. <laughs> just nice. straight up, he's not having a good time. And on pain. Shield of Shield Faith, Finn. A plus two to your AC, Finn. Thank you. Sure, sure. You look like you're getting surrounded. I don't want to leave you out there hanging. Uh, I, I will need that, but I will not be here long. 
Morales. Okay. Let me see if this says action. You can do or... this. Look. Yeah. All right, I'm over here, and then cure wounds on myself. Plus my hit. Or for your heal. Then I now shoot him. Yes. I'm gonna try. And... So cure okay. wounds is an action, so you can't attack. I was it? Oh, my bad. That's alright. You still learn a bit. Alright, well, I'll move on then. Alright. Fane! Beginning to look like that one meme of the girl on the couch. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm just looking for face step. There it is. Now it says bonus action, but can I choose it? Use it as an action and a bonus action? Um, no, it's, just, it's basically Misty Step, mate. You, you just kind of innately know Misty Step with some additionals. Okay. Uh, can you have me. So Misty Step does not invoke opportunity of, of attack. It's teleportation. Okay, so I'm going to face step. And you were, if I recall correctly, you were winter. However, you do pick it on every long rest. So mm -hmm. you have had three fucking days. So yeah, um, what are you? Autumn, winter, spring or summer? Uh. <laughs> um. Could also just roll a d4 and take it. If you're struggling, that's what I'd do. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say summer. Why not? I'm feeling happy today. Okay. Well, the ring is accurate, so you can click anywhere in the ring to teleport. Okay. Uh, I'll click. Yeah. Yep. Poof. Poof. You're gonna come back looking around. The poor guys, unbeknownst as to what's going on. Did anyone else your turn? Yeah, I am. 60 foot this way. <laughs> hey, buddy. This man can just use 90 foot of fucking movement in one turn. It's nuts. <laughs> That was only a bonus action as well. I'm gonna punch him in the face. Imagine if this bastard dashed. <laughs> 150 foot, which is <laughs> fuck you. Here you go, buddy. You can take this acid damage, please. Oh! My uh, fist can't break, so there's oh, that. Oh no. Uh, that one. Missed. Did I know your straight arm, no. <laughs> my onion ring go. I'm enjoying the spicy onion ring as much as I'm enjoying the spicy content. Brought to us by goblins. <laughs> oh, those uh, those goblins that are all around that were all around me take, what is it, two, fire damage? It was whatever my proficiency bonus was. Let's well, see. Immediately after you face that, each creature of your choice that you can see, within five foot of you, so. That's when you land. Right. So when you face that, oh. this creature within five foot of that. Okay. That's right. What's up? Aladdin, you're so funny and weird, and I'm still getting used to you, but I love you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I can barely, see because I don't have walls right now, I really need to, like, do the. I'm going to class that as half cover. I'm gonna class that as half cover because of angles. So, disadvantage on Melano. Uh, nine will miss. Speaking of Melano, Melano. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit, we're on round uh -huh. two. Well, see, she's also. Mm -hmm. I will say she's gonna um. watch as. Out the window. You're gonna watch this giant set of clacking wind up teeth land on the ground and just start chomping away. At spot, I'm gonna There's recommend. A... You, I'm gonna recommend you just avoid. Um, I recommend you avoid just kind of like here. This is there's your clanking teeth. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I'm supposed to what? initiative count zero. I'm supposed to do it on one of those ones. But yeah, there you go. 
Um, I would like to like, first move like just behind the horse uh -huh. so I can see what's going on and then move my spell to like 30 feet, I think, over here or here somewhere. Um, so, should, this here's directly just 30. This here's directly 30. Okay. So, okay. And then I would like to cast Firebolt on the one next to Bryn. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh. 19 for 9. Well, hit. It's Bryn, you're just going to watch as the one little guy in front of you gets a face full of it. So, it does you watch as he is extra crispy as he falls to the ground. Did I announce your turn? Um, I will... Let's not move off the map, mm. we've been here before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can get to um, here. Was five okay. feet. And then I will like to make me... Yeah, I would like to go return to where I was before. Like, but a little bit further down, like, more hidden. Okay. That's me. Should not have taken such a large mouthful of tackle, but here we are. Hmm... Runs up to here, pulls out the short bow and fires a Boralus, 21 for 7, will have. The goblin's here, she's gonna watch this pain. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> and she's gonna stand there as they look at the hobgoblin, and the hobgoblin's gonna... Continue! Oh. <laughs> and as they do, I'm gonna shrug, runs down, and comes to here, looks down, she's barely all. lifts up the long, short, but she's all kind of watch, as he contemplates it. I don't have enough movement to do that. Mm -hmm. So he will fire at Renard. 14 for 6 will miss. The other one, looking at what's going on, will fire at Bren. 8 will miss. See, the rules are now turning. Bren. Yes. Take your time, I have tackle. It's time. You there. Okay. You. Mm hmm. You're gonna get it. Oh, you don't mm. get it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Did I know? Uh, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say, um, the mask goblin says uh. what? And then in my turn. Ah! Uh. See, it's just one here. That'll, that'll be about it. It's got most slide down the back end of here, believing it is safe. As he does. You kind of watch just behind you hear that. There's a little goblin is standing there behind you, Melano. Yeah, hi. You're gonna watch he throws the short board in an absolute panic swing. 16 for 3. You're gonna fear in his eyes. Oh, goblin. Gobble. Gobble. 16 for free hits. Yeah. Looking at Fane, now realising that he may be in a little bit of trouble. We'll see. Um. We'll take his longsword and swing at Fane. 20 for 4 will hit. It will. I even remembered you had that <laughs> thing on. I have big brain. Just watches. This goblin runs. Ten goblins is a lot. Fires at Renard and misses. This goblin here <laughs> fires at Bren and misses. 
Renard. Mm. Low Renard levels, Renard. right? A one on initiative? The rules are not in his favor tonight. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Oh, shit. Move. Wrong one. That's 20. Attack there with the old hooves. 24 10 on this guy. Plus the save. Um, the biggest issue is you keep using that feature against low level things. And horses. Horses are powerful. Trampled. I had this. Alright. That's right. Is that right? Didn't it your turn? That was, well, that was 20 of movement. I can do another. 15, that's 35, 25, dismount for 5, Boop. fuck you, I'm sorry, that's, hey buddy, <laughs> this man's figured out how to break the system, hey, <laughs> what's happening, 19 for 8 will hit, and, um, yes. Where is it? Divine Smite. That's uh, so in your spell list, I think it's got to be at the bottom. Yep. Further eight. You're going to bring that and you watch as he kind of goes to scream before the holy light just... <laughs> He's all just gonna watch this off on the hill. The bright light comes down once more as the little god, little gnome woman is about to throw something out the window. As he watches, she takes a little look. Did anyone else your turn, man? You went for a second. Um. Yeah. Dang it, Bernard. <laughs> Morales. This might got it too. Oh, sorry, buddy. There's plenty left. It's not like you can't get there. Yeah, really. And eleven four eight will miss. I'm so sorry. Why? I I have um. Yeah. Can I use my bonus action to attack? Is that allowed? Uh, no, not yet. Next level, you get two attacks. Um, but uh, right now you. Hold on. Um. You're missing a ton of stuff. Oh, I just clicked the wrong thing, so that's why. Um, what's that thing? What level do you get that thing at, uh, again? Dread Ambusher? Mm. Eh. First Ooh. turn only. You, you can take a sec. Ah, oh, he hasn't done it. What's that? Uh-uh. Yeah, but it, it's on still turn. first turn, turn only. On that turn. So, so I'm going to read it here for myself, so don't worry. Um, now it's your turn, your walking speed is increased by 10. Which lasts till the end of that turn. If you take the attack action on that turn, you can make one additional weapon attack as part of that action. First turn only. I mean, I'm playing a uh, Gloomstalker Ranger, so... Ah, yeah. I've been forgetting about the Dread Ambusher thing, so have you. Are you... Since I've forgotten about it, alright, since I've completely forgotten about it until now, I'll let you take that one extra attack. Because I've only just remembered it, like, eight rounds later. Okay. And our resident Gloomstalker probably should have remembered it prior. It's not right, Gloomstalker. So on this on this one, I'll let you make another attack. Um, but that's kinda of like it for this initiative. Then in every other initiative after it, when it's your first turn, you can take two attacks and you get an extra ten foot walking speed. Okay. So on you go now. Who knows? This could be the one. Is it, is it? It's not the one. It's so close. No, but it's not it. the one. <laughs> that's right, then that's your turn. Uh, running away. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Meg, there's garlic in there. I think you have that movement. Yeah, you can take another twenty foot in it, another ten foot in any other direction. Don't worry, sheep. <laughs> Follow you. 
Silly dog. Adorable dog. Hello. <laughs> uh, Jillian. Okay. Um. Why'd you give me an empty taco, Laura? I could tell you no. that it was an empty taco. I thought it was just a taco left over. No. 30 yeah, feet to this guy. Oh, shit. That's right. Hold the other top. Yeah, on you go. Uh, you got that ring. A uh, eleven will miss. A uh, nine will also miss. And that's me. Cute. I, I can see her, Laura. She's cute as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hit him. He's gonna hit you. Twenty-one for three will hit. Melanol. I would like to face step away. Yeah, so I believe it is where you can see. So boom, boom, bah. And you were what? Summer, winter, spring, or? Win winter. They need to make a wisdom saving throw or be frightened of me. Our dog likes anything. Uh, natural 20 for 19. Okay, and then I will move 30 more feet away. And target that guy and shoot a firebolt at him. Yeah, yeah. A mm. 11 for 2 will miss. You done it now, Sutan? Um, no. That's me. Shit. We're Brennan. 20 for 5. Okay. Right. Mm. Meg, there's food there, but you're not getting it. Silly dog. Uh, oh, yeah. Two for five hits and move it on. Uh, Riso, same one. We're not. This one here. I have. There's a lot of goblins, women. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's done nothing for a while. He's next. I don't realize. <laughs> didn't realize he's done very fucking little in some time. This one here will move up. I gotta run my. It's gonna looks and shouts. Retreat! And he starts to use his action to run away as they all look round. They all start kind of running off in their one little directions. Bryn. Yes, it is time. You there. Goblin, Gablin, you have pretty much had it. Um, the fight's almost over, so might as well. Bonus action. Or time you hit with a melee weapon during the spell duration. Kill, kill. All right, and we're gonna drop the shield. Well, rather the shield still dropped. So keep that there. Two hand attack. Twelve will miss. And you said what? A twelve will miss. Ah, I'm just angry swinging then. Then no, 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 you're done. That's it. Nope. Which uh, no, it's not that goblin. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's alive though. <clears throat> he will come running out of his hidey hole, and if he does scimitar and handball swing at Baralus, and will miss. This goblin here will take his bow, and as he does, we'll fire off a quick one shot towards Melano. Eight will miss before he also starts making a run for it. Renard. All right. Let's take a shot at that feller with the light crossbow that Melano. Kindly gave to me. 20 for 7, we'll fuck him up. He's gonna watch his running knee powers. He slides across the slightly wet grass. Did it not your turn? Okay, I'm gonna go 15. We'll do the movement. 15, mount up. And then bing bang boom. How is. Oh shit. Can't make it. Uh, I'm just gonna. Right over here and cut these two fellows off. 
like just <laughs> trample them. But off the retreat. Has to dash to get there. So are you yeah. getting on the horse to do that, I'm... or are you sending the horse to do that? Yeah, sorry, I mounted. I, I mounted up. I'm As, sorry. Because you're hitting the wall, it's not letting you go, but the horse wasn't. I'll just quickly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. No bother. You just all kind of watch this. Out the window once more comes this weird box contraption with numerous little whip like streamers flying around. You can hear the. But you are well out of range of this little thing as you watch as the chattering teeth manage to come to a halt. Baralis. Okay. And then. Miss. Him. Two nines! Uh, miss. He also missed on his attack of opportunity though, so, you know, technically speaking, you're on even grounds. <laughs> Didn't know your turn, man? No. Ben. Okay. RJ. Oh? I would just like to say this before I kill this goblin. Mm hmm. <laughs> Pete Davidson gets whoever he wants whenever he wants them. And we can't keep letting him get away with this. Uh, we can't? He's dating Ice Spice right now. He is? He is. I mean... I swear, two weeks ago, he was caught with, um, what's the girl that was playing in the, uh... The what, what's the TV on the show on Netflix called? Be specific, please. It's. <laughs> Don't announce your turn there, Finn. Nah, that's it. Da -da -da -da. Eleanor. Da -da. I'm still targeting the same guy. I would like to mind sliver him. Okay. An intelligent saving throw versus DC. Ah, yes, I fucking love mind sliver. Your DC is 15. I think that we are. Uh, does not succeed. Yay. Takes That's a main five cycle. Yep. <laughs> and he subtracts two from his next saving throw. Okay. And I'm going to <clears throat> make my way, make my way up there. You did, That's did it. Me. Okay. Nick. I don't know how many golems I've got left at this point. What? I mean, I guess I could move the dust, the dust um, thingy, a little bit over here. Watch as the friend you watch as this one kind of takes a swing at you and ducks, and as he does, immediately starts to run away. Comes back here, it's gonna stop to see what's going on. Renardi. Both nod, as they do. One runs up, scimitar in hand. Takes a swing, 20 for 4. The other one, who is somewhere standing right next, is a little short bow and plinks an 18 for 6. But yet, when Baralis does it, Bryn! Mm -hmm. Yeah! Yar. Um, Did Bryn get an opportunity attack when that one ran away? No opportunity of attack. Used his bonus action to disengage oh. with his little nimble escape. Gotcha. Not that it matters. Right. They both stood next to each other. They both have 30 foot. Um, I don't think that I hit. So it's still, I think Thunder of Smite is still within, um, I within think a... I think that has a time on it of... Let me check. One minute. First time you hit with a melee a during the spell's duration. So yeah, you got a whole minute. Alright. 18 for 4 oh. will hit, and he has to make a strength saving throw versus your DC. Uh, yours is... I think you're like an 11, if I'm not mistaken. Yup. Fails. Uh, do you want to roll some additional damage on there? Uh, so I think your Thunder Smite does do some additional damage. D6. You said how many D6? 2D6, I think. 2d6. 2d6. Alright. 
you know, bring the battle axe down four. two handed as it does, he's always going to hear the. <laughs> and as he watches the poor little guy collapses to the ground. Did anyone else return, man? Nope, I just wanted some action. God damn it. <laughs> I take it back by the one goblinoid left here. And we both hit at the same time. He's standing next to Bryn Boralis and all that. He'll just run this way. <coughs> Bernard. Alright, this guy here is going to take a sword to the face. Oh, baby, he's crippled. He's going to come down to the ground. Watch the wind's going to cauterize as you lift the sword out once more and he collapses. And this guy is going to take a hoof to the face. My guy. <laughs> Fucking Semma. <laughs> Did it else your turn there? Uh, I'm going to... Uh, let's see, I moved 10, so I'm going to head out this way. Don't go, don't go near here, don't go near here. I see it. Uh, and know. that's it. Yeah. Nope. That's it. He's going to watch this once more. Another set of clattering, clattering, chattering teeth comes flying out the window. My D6s were mainly threes. <laughs> Browse, you're going to watch this little guy sprinting down the hill as hard as he can. You, the only one who could really arguably catch him at this point. What was the other guy yep. at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, yep. How high are these little rock outcroppings? Uh, about 10 foot. Oh, all right. Well, you can jump down. Yeah, the horse. Jump do down. You need glue. Go after him. <laughs> Dog food. <laughs> if there was a woman block. to hit something, it would be now, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. It would. This is the do or die, make or break moment, round five, final enemy. I'm already broken. There's just fixing it now. And it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it hate me so much? I mean, it's 1d20 plus 2 plus 2, and it's just like, nah. Oh well. It's not even your modifiers, it's just the dice themselves. But if you're proficient with longbows, how? Um, that's a very good question. That One, is probably the best question. He's got a 2 to dexterity. Uh, and a 2 to his proficiency. Is the guy mm. in the uh, he's still alive, he's running, you would have to run in a straight line to catch him, though. How far away is he? Fane can run for 60 foot and dash for a further 60 foot. Nothing is out of his range. Where, where is he? He's all the way down here. Oh, wow. He's exactly fucking 60 foot. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna jump down here and we're gonna get him. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. So you gonna I'm here. <clears throat> run We're gonna see I use uh slow fall on those. If I do have to take falling damage. You can only use slow fall on one, I believe. Yeah, then I'll just use slow fall on the first one. And uh say we stop there and go around instead. I still had five feet of movement, so I don't think making that one adjustment should matter too much. Uh, yeah. You've been able to arguably persuade me. <laughs> On you go. Hey, buddy. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he could escape me. 16 for 8 will fuck him up, Kenneth. Dead boy? Or still alive, boy? Because I can hit again. A goblin has seven health. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is no live boy after you hit for eight. Not unless <laughs> not unless you actively say it's a non-lethal attack. Mm. Didn't hear any of that from oh. anyone, by the way. <laughs> nah. All, all attacks are lethal. Oh, fuck, I don't want to move all of you. It's just the goblins. Christ. Who knows, if this is a good enough module, I may run it again. I have friends. That's a lie. I don't have friends. 
<laughs> I'm Ken. Let's see, I uh, move my little goblins, my little undead yellow goblinoid boys. Straighten them up as it does use the water through it. These little things. You just kind of watch this still every so often. Random chatterings and clatterings of things such as teeth and such come flying back out the window at top. I'm going to change this song to something a little more pathetic. Yeah. What do y'all do? Are they dead? All, all, all the goblins are dead. However, there are still random assortment of things such as chattering teeth, whippy boxes. Um, also the ones you missed. Um, so you're gonna watch as another device will be. The green fluid comes out, and every so often there comes these those little darts off in random directions. Sometimes as well, a mechanical chicken that fires ten eggs. Ten eggs. Comes flying out and every single <laughs> 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 That's awesome. I'm just gonna say uh I'm gonna try to speak in a very loud voice. Hey, the goblins are dead. We helped you out. Can you uh take care of these things? Oh! Gold ducking the eggs. <laughs> yeah. All are in. Hello in the house, Tatina. I'll stop it's all clear. on the spell. He's going to stop hearing all the random noises. I love how the song that I have asked to play is not playing. Okay, cool. Don't play. Didn't want to hear that song anyway. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> As you watch, listen for a little moment. Or once more you watch as she <clears throat> appears through the aperture at the top of her door. That little uh, clock face thing. She's going to look around. We come, in, we come in peace? Who are you? What do you want? Uh, well, we're here from Calaman. We've been sent to ask for your assistance and your advice. Yeah. Looks over, he is. Alright, alright. You know what? She vanishes for a little moment before the door opens up. Oh, I suppose you're not with them. Come on in, Star. Don't, don't break anything, please. I love that there's a little out, out <laughs> toilet. <laughs> so many of these maps have got an outhouse there just for flavor. It's great. Yeah, I, I know. I've, I have experience using this. <clears throat> User J put, lacks permission to update token. In parent scene. Send me a screenshot, babe. Hmm. I'll take a look. Uh, I already deleted it. Oh, oh. don't well, worry. There we go. I can show you in the camera. This man really loves his little camera. Let's Whenever see. it comes up, there it is. User J lacks permission to update token in parent scene. I wish I knew what was going on. You haven't changed anything, though, that I'm a knowledge. Uh, the, nope. You didn't even use a key point, my. In fact, you were using now. You're using your bonus action to punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't used the flurry of blows yet. Yeah. Nothing seems doesn't seem deserving. <laughs> Nothing has seemed powerful enough. It's all right. Well, uh, Fane's gonna be a little bit too late. Uh, you mind if I run through bodies again, sir? Yeah, you can rummage through bodies. I'll say to rummage through all of them, it's probably gonna take around a good ten minutes or so, anyway. So as they're doing that, uh, you roll your checks and I will get everything ready for you. <clears throat> you just want uh, the same as last time? Same the, as last uh, time, yeah. Just, uh, okay, sleight of hand, roll or, with disadvantage. Or investigation, whichever you feel is better for you. I like sleight of hand. 
and plus five. disadvantage. Ten and eleven kill. Cool. I'll bash that off once we're done here. As you are out there searching through, he's going to this nice little house. It is cozy and very much a tinkerer's workshop first and foremost. As you look, the woman in question, Tatiana, is a make out that she is in fact a rock gnome. And she looks and sits down and uh. What is it you uh, wish to know? Um, how can I help? You say you're from the city? Yes, we've been sent here from Calaman. They hoped you would uh, be able to provide us with some information about uh, the contraption we ran into in Fogler, as well as they wish to invite you back to Calaman to be an advisor to them against the encroachment of this uh, unknown army. Huh. The army, the army. Hmm. It's, it's interesting, yes. And they, they want me as an, event, as an advisor. Um, they do. Speaking of this army, they were, those were uh, from the Red Dragon army outside. You, uh, what was that all about? Why did they come all the way out here for you? Just, you know, I I hope they're not. Um, I hope they're not linked. But uh, mm, about uh, maybe a week ago, there was some strangers. Uh, they asked me to design a device for them and they was they were supposed to pick it up today and well they haven't shown up yet but they did them out there hmm. i don't know if there's a correlation did you happen to make a uh no there's no correlation you mean that gnome flinger power? No, I mean the dragon in the original series. Se uh, city. The original series. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> She's gonna look. She's gonna watch us. Several weeks ago, man. What, what, what was what, what was this thing that you you, you speak of? What it was a uh, it was a big metal lizard. It broke. It could breathe fire. Oh, boil a rock. Sorry. A, f a few weeks ago, a stranger in red and black again purchased a weed clearing device but asked me to make it resemble a mythical dragon in black and white yep a weed remover yep it was a bit more it could do a bit more than clear weeds big gardens big gardens Um, oh, you'll be happy to know they're using your inventions for war. Not really, no. Uh, don't necessarily create war and siege weapons. That's not me. Um, yeah. No. I will gladly come. However... Come. I've got something I think you'll like. And I swear this time, it's not a weapon of war. Mm, yeah, yeah. What would it be? Um, I have this thing. It's just gonna pulls out this rather large-looking odd box. 
I don't have it on here, it's not a thing on the sheet thing, so if you give me a little moment I'll get it from my D&D Beyond Warriors. I will say though, it's also in the back of the book, but you know, fuck show and use the book when I could just give you an actual image, you know? This rather weird contraption looks like a backpack, but it also straps around the waist. It's like a nice intricate design of copper and wood, as well as nice brown leather straps. It seems that on one side there is a large canister. She kind of looks at you. What does it do? This is the Fargab. Far Gab, as in Gab to talk, far as in distance. Right, okay. so this is the Appendix A. Nice, just, you know. Far Gab. Far Gab. Far Gab. Um, I'll, sc far oh. I'll screenshot it and put it in Discord for you just now. Fuck off my guy. Stop replaying my snaps. Uh, did it. Oh my god, Discord, I don't care. <laughs> In the general chat, uploading now is an image of what you see. Hmm. Is that. Oh, how does that work? It looked like you. It looked like you make you speak loud. character had. It's gonna. Looks. In the Darrington Brigade. She's gonna look sad. I was supposed to be designing something and got distracted and built this long distance communication device. I have. Oh. It requires two of them, and I've got another one. Uh, I've got another one set. Um, I could give you one, and then if, if, we, if we go into the city, I could give one to someone there in the city as well. And then that way you can communicate with someone in the city whenever you're outside. Huh? How far outside? That is undetermined. I live alone in as my, you know, as, as myself, only me, so, you know, I, I can't be in two places at once, I'd really love to be in two places at once, but I can't be in two places at once, and I don't really trust anyone with my new inventions, you know? No, um, yeah, okay, we'll, uh, take it back, and, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sure with. we'll put it to use. Huh? I'm coming with it. Use it? Okay. Oh, well, nice. We... Oh. We all of us will take will take back this device and uh, yeah we'll we'll give it a try out and see how well it works and how far we can gab. For everyone who is interested to start out of character in that regards, within eighteen miles, mm. and you can speak twenty five words or less. <laughs> it's just a really shit sending spell. Yeah. Thing. Useful. I mean, it's a free sanding, basically. For 12 miles. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Um, I don't have it as a thing, however, I will write down, I'll need to make it as a thing and put it on sheets. Uh, who is taking it? Anyone? I'll take it if no one else wants it. Okay. All right. I will add that to your. Do you lose? I'll add that to your sheet. You know, usually when like magic items drop to the gold, people. Are, oh my god! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give you guys just done yourselves out of a free sending spell for eighteen miles. Terms and <laughs> conditions apply. Please seek Bell Pierce permission before <laughs> our entering. <laughs> <laughs> She kind of looks at his. Uh, it's taken me maybe about uh, five minutes or so to pick up my things. Um, yeah. Do, do you want any help? I don't know. Uh, but they have more there than I could ever use. Like, this is this is rudimentary in comparison. Okay. Fortnite. If you need anything, let me know. Fortnite, Fortnite, my boy Fane, 
as this is all going on. Um, oh, thank you. I mean, you could just... Um, I got I got to hit the rules them. first. And then because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... And then because one of these is technically slightly bigger... Uh, your rolls were... Nope, don't want to do that one. Pull that back. You don't need that one. You don't get that one. You've been bad. <laughs> <laughs> See, the highest you... Oh, wow. Yeah, I want that one. Oh, wow, I want that one. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow was already pre-rolled. Oh, you are... Yeah, so... You got for yourself... A beautiful silk robe with gold embroidery. Okay. This Strange is thing for an album to be carrying. Yeah, it was his own personal garments. Uh, an, a silver ewer, ewer, I uh, guess it's a goblet. Uh, another silver mirror, because, you know, they love their mirrors. <laughs> A zircon. A nice statuette carved out of bone. A zircon. A zircon, a yeah. nice aquamarine. You also get yourself a transparent pale, pale green, blue, brown or red tourmaline. Another small mirror because goblins are vain. A nice as your right and a obsidian statue. Uh, you get a mirror, you get a mirror, you get a mirror. <laughs> Good luck selling half of that. Just give everybody a mirror. <laughs> Good luck selling half of that. Yeah. As it all happens, she kind of sets up all of her stuff and she just kind of looks. Oh. Um, ready when you are. Um. Is it azurite or. It's a blue gemstone, okay. It can be whatever color you want it to be, to my knowledge. Obsidian statuette with oh, gold. Oh, no, this fitting. one is blue. Uh, this one is particularly supposed to be blue. Well, a mirror set. Painted wood frame, tourmaline, gemstone, aquamarine, it's a gemstone, carved bone statuette, a zircon is a what? A gemstone. Zircon. Yep. Zircon. Okay. Uh, a small mirror. What is a silver ewer? I believe a silver ewer is just a, like a jug. I believe an ear is a jug. E W E R is a jug. Yeah. Silk robe yeah. with gold embroidery. That's insane. Who had that? Which one of these freak goblins had? <laughs> the hobgoblin had it. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> the hobgoblin crossdresser. What he does in his free time. <laughs> hey, no judgment. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna throw out mirrors because I don't need to carry those around. <laughs> Just make sure you don't break so that'll be bad luck. <coughs> but yeah. You know, I'll just hold on to them, why not? As you s set out once more. Unless there's anything else anyone wishes to do here in that time. In the backpack they go. You know? <laughs> uh, did you say you put the bar gap on my inventory? I, I will put it in your inventory once I've got... I made the parachutes. And I mm -hmm. forgot to make the other ones because I'm an I'm an idiot. No, I ain't a problem. Um, I made everything else. I I even made horse armor. But yeah. As yeah. Next, next time. Let's go on through, walking back where you were. Use. Oh wait, no, I do have it. Sorry, my bad. I'll add it to your sheet right now, my friend. One far gab coming up for. Yes, use the fucking importer. Uh, it's went into your uh, loot 
for one reason or another, but don't worry. Um, I still, with it, can't show you the image in this. But yeah. Make a make a mistake and step on Melano's ankle. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody here they roll in that one for like evasion or something, and like the effect is just you roll your ankle extra hard. <laughs> you, do you guys want uh mirrors? I, I got mirrors out the wazoo. Yeah, good. Could, could I make like those two way mirrors from Harry Potter if I got the message cantrip or something and just concentrated the message? Into them? You're thinking of an Alluvian. That's like it's, uh, I think those are their own separate things in D and D. No, like ha Harry Potter two-way mirror. Like you call one person's name, and yeah. they got involved. yeah. And in, in fantasy, those are Alluvians. They're Elven. Dragon Dragon Age. Yeah, but they're also a fantasy thing overall. I just know them okay. as like that. But they are a thing that do exist, and I think they are in D and D. I've just never seen them, but. You know, that way D&D has everything fantasy related. But I believe yeah. they do. I'll look into it, obviously. Um, if not, you might be looking at more like a, a magic mouth spell type thing. As opposed to message. But, <clears throat> I will say, nothing else is going on as you just make your way back to... Make your way! I'll steam some broccoli for the sake of nutrition. As you <laughs> head back through Interlands once more, it rains still. But you can just get back with plenty of time. It's a rather easy enough time. You run into no issues. You already cleared those issues. Uh, and I'll see now as we are here, I'll just make an exodus invisible. Wait, 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 before I go, can I yeah. can I do to one of the dead goblins what Shaquille O'Neal is doing in that picture? <laughs> dunk it? I mean, dunk it, teabag it, something to that effect. Oh. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Can dunk the do whatever you want to that poor little goblin. He's he's dead. He'll never remember, or will he? Yeah. Who, those who lack the bags of tea cannot tea bag. Oh, I got a nice fat sack of gold I can hang from my belt loop. Tea bag him with that. You just go through it. That is an uneventful. Very uneventful and rather boring trudge back to Calaman. Mm -hmm. On the way back, I'm gonna mm -hmm. pull up beside. What the hell? Fame, fame, Bryn, and have oh. a talk with her about our common background with being paladins of Kiri Julius. Oh, we're talking about our backgrounds? I'll just talk about our our encounters with how we became paladins of Kiri oh. and Okay. Well. And kind of compare notes and find out more okay. about her as a paladin and her uh, beliefs. Uh, yes. I was not uh, really paladin material to start out with. Um... Well, uh, uh, you can you can say I was um, uh, prone to the more rougher side of things. You know, came from a good family, came from a good home. I just got a little too curious, and one day found myself mixed up in all sorts of things. And the sad part was I liked it, and I didn't want to stop. And I didn't really think about you know how destructive and I guess uh uh. What's the fucking word for not being able to carry on like this? Like, not being able to... Unsustainable. Unsustainable, the style, the style of living was. And, um, you know, through some events uh, led by a person who is now dear to me, 
Um, I hold a little bit more respect in my heart for battle and the people who, you know, wish to participate in it and those who wish not to participate in it. But of course, that tea back there, you, you saw nothing. Um, <laughs> essentially, uh, you know, I, 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 was, I was, you know, shown that I could be using my inclination instead of uh, the word talent, inclination for good. So I made a little pilgrimage, found my, myself taken in by the city of Calaman, and they put me on the front lines for most conflicts and revolution scenarios for my, you know, tenacity and I guess uh, overall um, lust for those situations, but also as a chance to prove myself more civilly since those things resolve themselves in different ways, and I'm used to seeing things out. Um, so, essentially, you know, right now I'm just looking to not do a whole lot of what I used to do. You know, didn't exactly, yeah. you know, make a make a name for myself robbing, but hey, if, 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 if you came across my way and... You know, I made sure that, you know, many people who came across my way were rubbed the wrong way, or they rubbed me the wrong way. Um, any excuse to kind of go at them. And if I needed something from you, great. If I didn't, I didn't. But, you know, I just, from going from place to place, there are plenty of dangerous places in this world since the calamity. And I don't think it was healthy for me to frequent them the way I did. Calamity is a critical role thing, my friend. Oh, what the fuck is this whole dragon thing? The cataclysm. Oh, like, what's... oh the cataclysm. cataclysm. Here we go. Close enough, I know what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> calamity. I look a little puzzled. It's like, the, a lot of this just seems very out of place for a kinder. Not that I don't believe in your convictions or your story, it's just. And I chalked the teabagging you did back there up to, you know, being a kinder. Maybe it's still a little bit in your blood, but... No, um... This is having a little bit of, I guess, fun. I guess I'm not going to loot the corpse. I'm not going to brutalize them after they've already fallen, but... It's just a little, uh... Just a little fun. As far as being a kinder, um... You know, it all really started with Wanderlust. You know, you come of age, you want to see the world. And and I guess I wound up in a bad situation during my you know initial travels, and I think um, instead of taking you know the more common way out and becoming afraid of these things, I told myself I wouldn't be able to freely you know see the world if I didn't toughen up or, or couldn't handle these types of situations. So I started seeking them out, and at some point of seeking them out, I became a little bit more accustomed to them than the normal. And it just kind of, well, for example, has anybody of, uh, have you ever heard of anybody of any other race, um, falling prey to, uh, I guess the more carnal of, uh, I'm not going to say human inclinations, but you, you know what I mean? Like, like anybody, you know, fallen prey to, fallen wayward to sin, you know, a lot of things that you know, come naturally to all of us are, you know, things that we regularly partake in, and if you partake in those things too much, well, just like alcohol, you turn into a drunkard. Well, naturally, yeah, that's, uh, I don't believe that's a fault of any particular race, I've, you know, that's pretty common, especially amongst humans, but, uh, I'm glad you've turned your life around, I'm glad to have you I'm glad to have you here with us, and the fellow I'm glad servants. to be here. This gives me a chance to, well, at least begin to improve some things, some of the things I did in my family's name. I don't think I could ever really face them after, you know, some of the things I've done that they do know about, some of the things that they don't know about. I just really want to be able to face my maker one day when all's said and done and I meet my end. I want to be able to say... I tried, because for the longest time I thought I was trying, but I wasn't really doing much of anything. Well, that's a 
very interesting story. Very interesting background you have. So glad to have you by my side. We'll speak more about this, I'm sure. We will. We will. Um, real quick, Scottish, should I, like, is, is he someone I can tell, since he shared the same God, is he the one I can tell about that little bit you put in my, uh, in my DMs? Um, uh, I mean, uh, about, like, how you got your power? I don't really know what power I have, but, um, I guess, power like, power essentially really... me having the power. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you um, can, you can tell anyone that one, um, it's down to whoever believes you. What you would be able to ascertain here, at least, is, you know, he's more than likely to believe you more than anyone else, given you are mm. both paladins of the same god. I'll I'll bring it up in detail later, but I at least want to, you know, keep acknowledging, you know, at least physically the the pendant I have, and I want to be able to speak about our god with um. A nice healthy level of respect maybe not necessarily reverence but just the kindness that someone and the fondness someone speaks of someone who had given them a fresh start the way he did yeah i mean i'm sure we can compare notes without having to rp the whole conversation i mean i'm sure it was a pretty similar encounter and yeah you know, i tell him tell him about my encounter how i came to know and become a follower of my god and he could tell me about his encounter and I'm sure that they'll be very similar yep 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 i need to find so. some goddamn kitchen shears i don't know where they're at i don't <laughs> want to just brute force rip this bag of uh, frozen broccoli open and uh make all that crinkling noise just use a knife on cutting board with it so i don't you're right. You're right. The knife I just saw. Where is it? Ready to go. Huh. This is why I shouldn't stop organizing the countertop and, and dishes once I start. And also, as you just get into town through the city, passing through the gates, it's a rather calm, nice, warm evening as you watch the sun is slowly setting. <coughs> And as you head on to the castle, with your new Kendar friend, get back to the. There's a. What's that room I'm looking for? His name? The. You know, let's call it the War Room. <laughs> That's like such a bad way of saying it, but the War Room. As you as... Isn't that a movie? I couldn't say. I'll be like, I can't like... say. I know it's like they make a lot of movies. Well, at least in America, they make. Uh, they used to make a lot of movies about um, about like the very like try, they tried to make the political dealings before and after certain like uh, uh, war time events very uh, very serious and dramatic and captivating for the big screen. As you as... like I'm, I'm. Go ahead. So you just get back to the war room. It's, I, I know it's a war room from certain games. This is kind of place where you make all your pants. Council room, war room, same shit. Dragon Age, Inquisition. Yeah, but I, th I think those rooms are military. Strategically, as a military, always called a war room because I've really got the maps mm -hmm. and that's the command points. Um, which I, technically this would be. I just have a vague memory about a movie about a war room, and it's like. Just the president trying to decide whether or not to nuke someone. Something to that effect. I know of that film. It's an old black and white one. I know the one you're on about though. I think it's a Hitchcock film. But, let's just get back into this room. You see, you know, Darrett and Governor Myatt talking as he's come in. Why the f... There we go. Hit him. Go ahead. What's your token not in there? I don't understand. I mean, because I wasn't there, there before. I missed the session. Boom. There we go. There's why. See, I'm smart. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just get back into the war room. Does it work? 
Governor Maia and Darrett standing there and she's they make your way through this castle into the room. As he looks. And I assume this is Miss Tatina Rukuldust. With yourselves. He would be correct. It is it is she. I mean we didn't ask her for her name to be honest. That's out of character. <laughs> so it's not like she is the <laughs> Well Firstly thank you. Please Mr. Goddess, take a take a seat. You know what she's, she's taken all back, we can end. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks. Thank you. Let's see. Looks. I like that chair. All right. In the time that you have been gone, we should make you aware. For all those who may not be, the enemy. The enemy wear armor akin to that of Takesis, her symbol, her colors. That's... It is worrying when people launch a crusade in a god's name. It's even more worrying when that god is evil. We have a few more things. A few little issues, if you will, that have come across our desk recently. It is up to you whether you wish to take these or not. If you do, you get a more valuable insight into the enemy. If you don't, that is also perfectly fine as well. Mm -hmm. The choice is yours. And we will not hinder you in any way. I, for one, am here to do as much as possible to identify and defeat this enemy. So, any mission you have that can help to those ends, I'm all for. Yep. <sighs> Same with me, I'm here to uh, no. make sure this enemy is no longer a threat to anyone. As well, whilst we're still clarifying details, we have missing scouts, a blockade, and a potential ambush that the enemy has set. We will know more in due course for yourselves which one would you prefer to look into before i know i can send the appropriate details to you as and when we have them our scouts are currently in the field right now passing back information mm. i think uh missing persons would take the utmost importance right now i agree if someone's missing we must uh, rescue them if needed as soon as possible first 48 fine first yeah there you go first 48 and all mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a show here in america first 48 hours after murder is how long do you have to really solve the case kidnapping? Or, i just thought that yeah. was a statistic the first 48 hours after a, uh, a person's kidnapped or anything like that mm. is more likely they are to be dead. I thought that was just a statistic. Well, it's a television show, too. Yeah. Following following the investigations of murders of re real, real life stuff. Mm -hmm. Z. Anyway, yeah. They're not going to person for a week. I'm going to look at you and. Well, we have some information now. Uh, just gonna throw his over a piece of paper across the table. 
to yourself. It's uh, some information that we have. With it, we don't have much else, unfortunately. But it is a late night to head out. If you do wish to head out immediately, alternatively, one would not be remiss given the job that you have done to take some time. As you watch this. Cool, that's gonna looks. Oh, I'm, 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 I've, I've got this, but I've got this. You can keep it off the back pack and gives it to Myat. See? Is he gonna? Ouch. Looks at it. Uh, I'll be sure to check it out. Um, it, it, it's, 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 um, it's, it's a two-way communicator for any. So, like, if they're out in the field and you're here, you, you can still communicate probably within the right distance. I'll, um, I'll keep that in mind. But it'll still stay here. Um, yes. I have another one to match it, so we can try it out to see how well it works when we go on the next mission. Once once Katina shows us exactly how to use it. Oh, 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 mm, yep, yep, that's, yep, yep. So you, you see the, the, the little like uh, the, the little bit that kind of dangles down. You see that bit that dangles down. But if, if you push the button on there and you, when you push the button, if you then just start talking, uh, twenty five words. You, you have twenty five words or less, and it should come back provided you within about eighteen miles, give or take. Um, maybe I can't be sure, but the twenty five words thing is definitely because it, it seems to only have like a limited charge. Totally. Um, as for <laughs> the next mission, She's I think we, uh, I think we should leave out in the morning. Rather than burning the wicked, you know, both ends, burning the candle at both ends. Because we just got back and leave right back out. Do we want to rest here in town or do we want to make. We, make have, our... we have free lodgings here. Yeah, we have free lodgings here, and we don't have to set up a camp outside, so I just say we uh, rest in town. I have things to attend to as well. So, I will see you all later. And he's going to head out. Oh, you were Bye, Felicia. I thought you were talking to IRL. No. He's going to go sell all those jewels. Most definitely. <laughs> I saw I saw a jeweler somewhere out there. Y'all don't realize the amount of absolute stupid math I'm about to have to do. Uh, he's gonna be rich. Okay, I mean, as we said, this is kind of an urgent mission, but if uh, you're all wishing to spend the night here, then I'll... And we'll spend the night here. Where did the people go missing? I just gotta, just gotta love having honorable people on your team. <laughs> but what, what is it now? Like three paladins? <laughs> the three? Uh, is it Borellis? Is it Borellis a paladin? No, he's a ranger. Borellis is a ranger. Oh, he's a ranger. Okay. Uh, it's about twenty-six miles. It's going to be a long day's ride to get there tomorrow morning. We'll have to leave early. Sun up. Or before. This man ha How many murderers did you get rid of, by the way? Just so I know. How many what? Uh, Fane, because he said he was leaving murderers around. How many murderers? You had three. How many you got now? Oh, uh, mirrors. Oh, I... Mirrors? Nah, that, that was a joke. I'm keeping those mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can use them to look around corners. Yeah. yeah they're Does use, he they're there's a basilisk around? Yeah. They're useful. Yeah. 
Very useful. Mirror, mirrors are the future. I'll take a mirror if you want to give one away. Sure, I'll give you a mirror. I just thought about that. That could be useful. Even for any of us. Oh, so much shit. It's like... It's just, I see it as like the graffiti that is in uh, Washington, D.C. I see it in places and I'm just like, how did they get up there? Yeah. <laughs> how did they put Dude. that on the outside of a highway? Like the walls that are up there. How did they get up there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a rope. A rope. A, a rope. That seems dangerous. It is. That, that's the point. <laughs> oh, they just like, oh, clean this. You can't clean this. But you have to be so, you have to be like so mad to go up there and do that. That they're all constantly cleaning off your artwork. So, I'll see if you are doing this. Cause I, and I need to write down all the prices of these things that they would sell for. So, what's everyone else doing right now, whilst I at work this shit out? If one, if one jeweler doesn't have the amount of money to pay me, I'll just go to the next one. This is a huge town. I'll take my business elsewhere. He says, sir, I don't have any more gold. I can't buy this. Oh, well, I'll go to the next one. I mean, that's Sky That's basically Skyrim. <laughs> just wait in the shop for 24 hours and do it again. For me, it's, for me, it's Fallout. Yeah, I, I played Fallout 2, like, 2, 2, S-T-O-O. S-T-O-O. I'm so mad, because ESO S -S isn't good to me. Elder Scrolls Online is shit. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online is horrible. Fallout 76 has some bugs, but it's great. It's it's literally like Fallout 4, but it's online. They didn't, they didn't change the graphics at all, they, like... It just gave us the game that we wanted, but it just had some bugs with it. So everybody went crazy and bashing it. And I'm just like, God, calm down. Mm -hmm. It's been like four years. I play it now and it's great. Yeah, I'm going to go get something to eat in the in game. Go to the room, clean up, maybe take a bath. That Get some rest. I give yeah. the uh, I give the silk robe with the gold embroidery to uh. <laughs> you want more? <laughs> you want that? Well, I was gonna give it away to Renard, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot that it was looted. <laughs> to me, it's already mine. <laughs> He's playing the old school, Kender. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, as you are making your way to Bunk, where's everyone else going? To, do, to various shops, seeing where I can sell these stuff. Yeah. Mirrors and all. I want it all out of my inventory. Okay, Melano. I guess I'll go check on Wyhan's shop if I can help, or on the on the refugees in the camps minus one mirror because i gave one to uh renard i will add one mirror to renard's sheet then this makes it a little easy fucking mirrors you have you vain bastard small mirror set in a painted wooden frame uh Baralis. it's gonna go down to the Stores and try and buy some stuff. Right. Um, Bryn. Good chat, mate. So, I will see for oh, this one. Giving me a very three party members headed on into town and one party member staying in the castle, to my knowledge, right now. Unless, you know. Uh, RG comes back and says they're doing something else. Let's uh, jump to the correct Mundo map. And so, for this, Melano is headed over in 
one direction, so you are headed over here. Uh, where is everyone else going? Okay, uh, Fort Boralis is headed to the town center. Along with Fane, we'll say. So. Let's see, as a given that you are staying in the castle, we will use the castle part first as, you know, you conduct your business with Maya T. You just leave the room. Gives you a nod as you now take the paper. You head to your bunk area and such. It starts to <clears throat> take off your armor. It's been a heavy and hard day. Hmm. As you, oh, it's gonna... As you slip into something a bit more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> a smoking jacket. <laughs> Just a slightly too small robe. <laughs> <laughs> you... Doesn't quite die in the front. <laughs> Cigar. Oh, we're going to hell. I'm going to hell. You... Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit more comfortable, a bit more, you know, casual wear. You head on down into a the mess area, if you will. There's a Quite quiet. There are some people in there who are enjoying some much needed rest. For yourself, it's a quiet affair. So you look around, there is a cook, rather older guy with stuff, nice big pot as he looks. You uh require anything or have you brought anything? Oh. Uh, what's the special? Ah, uh, it's a stew and bread. Nothing too fancy right now. Still that waiting. Sounds great. Still waiting on the good stuff coming in right now. We've got uh, uh maybe about What do we have minutes. is Go ahead. Oh, I was done. Yeah, whatever you have is fine. Just you know. stew and bread and some uh, meat if you have it. Be good. Oh yeah, you go. Then he's gonna leans down. It's gonna place his a large. I'm gonna say 750 milliliters. By I think that's like. Just it's over sixteen ounces, but it's under forty ounces. <laughs> yeah, it's like sixteen. Out of forty, the twenty ounce, like twenty it ounce. is. It's about 20. twenty ounces is five hundred and ninety-one milliliters. I have I have my twenty ounce bottle here. I thought this five hundred milliliters was sixteen ounces. <laughs> Whatever, seven hundred and fifty milliliters. You know. Glass bottle of that and in the bowl. And it pours it's out a fifth. A fifth? I'm kidding. Go ahead. I'm <laughs> kidding. Go ahead. It's gonna <laughs> pours it out into the bowl. It's a rather thin concoction more than anything, but you can vaguely make out there's definitely some vegetable in there. God knows what, but it's in there. See? Nods. If you need anything else, do just come up. We've got uh, more mead, as it were. And even more in the cellars. Good to know. I'll eat my dinner and then I might explore the castle. Yep. As much as I can. As you, as you sit down to this, everyone else is having their own little hushed toned conversations a few people up the back in a sort of larger group and a few people on the other end you can tell that 
based on their different dress. Some of these are ground troops, whilst others are archers from the battlements and such. It appears there is a bit of a shift-like rotation that goes on through. The castle, however, is... It's mellow for the night. There doesn't seem to be anything pushing through, and... People do seem to come in and out in almost waves. If you will. I'll engage in some conversations with them, try to learn more about the how the defenses here in the city work and more about the city guard and the castle guard if I can. And... Once it's, a, you know, it's time passes, a few do sit mm -hmm. with you. It's the one of the archers, is another younger guy, leans in from the second area. Um, you have to go up the staircase by the servants' quarters. If you go up there and along at the end of the corridor, there's a ladder. Once you've climbed the ladder, um, you are essentially on the the roof of the first story. It's a uh, no reason to be any higher. Let's be honest. I don't need to touch the clouds, but you have a nice view of. The entire city at that point already and yeah you see everything in the courtyard below you have the areas where the ballista are it's a groffer guy you know, he looks and leans in as you walk through the front gates you see the little slits in there there's the ballista anything that comes through is sandwiched between these things so if in the event of a siege we are attacked you have plenty of cover there if they get through the first door they'll get minched coming through the corridor and whatever's left makes it into the courtyard to become a pincushion it's the archers that do it all really none of the swords really get much but in the dire event that someone does get into the castle everyone's well prepared it'd be a shame for someone to try truly a fruitless effort to get into this place you'd be torn to ribbons before you even got close to the castle and sounds you... very well prepared and thought out if you somehow manage to get in from the sky, somehow, well, well, firstly, how are you going to land? Secondly, you'd be seen coming from at least 20 miles plus on a good day, 15 on a bat. Yeah. They say safe as houses in some place, safe as Calaman in the others. <laughs> about you? You're new? You don't wear the colours? Where are you from? I'm from West. I'm from, from a place that no longer exists Eldor. I come as a knight of the sword, knight of Salamnia, to serve the city. Uh, I've seen much in the last week that I thought were only stories and dreams and nightmares. I was there for the siege and the, the Fogler. The creatures I've seen are nothing I've ever seen before. Some can fly. I hope your defenses will be prepared for that. There are also rumors of actual dragons and other flying creatures that are part of this army that are maybe headed our way. Oh. If you're not prepared for that, I, I assume you make 
put that in in the back of your mind as something that needs to be prepared for. Well, the talk of war has many things. Somewhere down south, by the forests, they speak of these creatures down by the Qualinesti and even lower these white scaled creatures seem to have taken a hold and somewhere off to the east somewhere they've Similar creatures, but blue. It's a weird, weird time, but some people do speak of a rather bony and almost eldritch looking thing. This Lying monstrosity. Of course, I pay no heed to it, because why would I? A flying creature? Not here. But the thing that rides it that's that beast is tamed. And it is somewhere in East Wild. I need to see it to believe it, but they all speak the same stories of this skeletal beast. To slay that? Yeah, that would require everyone. But again, we'd see it coming. And it would be taken care of long before it got to the castle. Well, we're prepared for anything. I wouldn't. Well, I appreciate your. Oh, having a senior moment. Confidence. I wouldn't be overconfident. Be prepared. Be ready for everything. And don't underestimate. Anything that you hear or see. No. Is that the did match the skeletal thing? Does that match the description of the thing we saw at Vogler during the battle? Vaguely? Vaguely. Okay. Really I'll just tell him that. Oh, you yeah. That may seem like a. It might seem like a story to him, but I have seen it firsthand. Skeletal creature, skeletal, almost dragon, being ridden by God only knows, an undead knight perhaps, or some uh, foul creature of evil serving Takesis. Oh, something serving something. If you slay that beast, I. I have no reason to disbelieve you. But you are one of few people who says they have seen it. I wish to see it with my own eye. Mm. Just you one know. of those things. You know our main problem is people saying that. Yeah, I don't know that you really want to see this with your own eyes. But be prepared if you do. My friend, Thank seeing is believing. Sounds like my teenage boy. <laughs> Got I know your character doesn't what? have a boy. Yeah. No knowledge. In IRL. IRL. 
my teenage son always wanted to make the mistakes for himself. Never wanted to. Life's more fun when you make those mistakes yourself. Is it? <laughs> well, hey. Okay, I, would I, think... ended, I would have ended up in handcuffs a few times if I didn't make those mistakes. I'd say I'm yeah. all the better for it, but I'm really not. <laughs> Still an asshole. Thank them all for the conversation. I'm going to make myself my way out of the dining hall and explore the castle as I think I've seen signs and emblems of my order throughout the castle and I want to explore it a little further. I want to say it's from where you are. I have a map. Wait a sec. I had the map. Where is it? Dun, 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 dun. The Kurum. So, uh, from where you are, the small rooms, you're going to head back out into the foyer courtyard. The foyer area where you would have came in. You do see a few men, you know, practicing on some dummies, if you will. On the area you recall seeing your god, it was actually in your dorm. Now I say, I say dorm, it's in like, you know, that particular area, tapestries on the wall. As you go around the castle, there are statues here and there too the god carries you off there are statues of other more you know fortunate gods if you will let me get the names up because i forget these names <laughs> okay. you, see, you just see the god you see like you know in some tapestries the God Paladine and as are there, we're going to say there because they're gods, their symbol, the triangle with extended out ends. I don't have a symbol for it, no one picked that god. As you look around and tell. Order of Justice and Mercy is what he stands for. As you keep looking through, you also see the symbol to the god Solinari. You know this god to be the patron to the mages of high sorcery. You know that, given where you are, he definitely has his alignment here as well. There. No, his. This one actually says his. Solonari is a guy. It's canon. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. And looking around, they're all manner of these dotted throughout different areas. Wherever there seems to be a place for fighting or the armory, you see the sign of Kiri Joloth. In the library, library, I hate that word. You see the sign. You see the sign of Solanari. And around the medical areas, you see the sign of. I want to say Paladine because it rhymes. Paladine. Yeah. Castle does keep these things around. However, from what you know, the gods aren't really revered by many people as gods, but more status symbols. Things to come towards, but never really seen as the deities that they are. You, however, walking around, you know that's different. For you yourself, I've had an encounter with one god. And so, there's nothing to say that the other gods aren't out there. 
trying to make these connections with people. The castle itself in this time of no, I was gonna, you know, but around this time. It's a little later. Yeah. That we'll be doing a ton of time shift back and forth, don't you worry. The castle is darker. Yep. Everyone is they've been enjoying their time around. As you watch as more guards go on and off patrol. Even Governor Myatt, Darrett, Tatina, and even her name's here on this bit of paper, so I'm just going to grab it from there real quick. Even Marshal Vendry all eventually seem to make their way elsewhere. They don't mean to lock that. Because they all seem to be yeah. getting ready for things. They're ready for the night's end. As, however, not very late in that regard for yourselves. As I would say, set about six p.m. Okay. All right. I'll just continue to look around, and you go on and yep, you handle know. some uh, some of the others. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the time. Pull it back. Mm -hmm. Let's go with firstly everyone who is walking through the town towards the. Shops. Let's use our technically together right now. Pull it back a few hours. Oh, Walking down as Boralis. Oh, actually, funnily enough, all of my elves. <laughs> They're an elf <laughs> gang. Let's use our old. Walking down the street like. <laughs> Face step. I fucking hate you. When you're a jet, you're a jet. Oh, that's an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some step in front of somebody's way like Guard, come quick, there's organized crime in the area. Oh no, never mind, it's just a bunch of vice little elves. Oh. Is that racial profiling? <laughs> Guard, come quick, there's oh never mind, go about your business. I didn't know you were in sight these 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 nice nice elves. I bet you're doing something wonderful for the community. And then they just go back down the walkway. Oh, this is the, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> you just all make your way into the town. You, just, you know, I put everything here as you are in the center. Just this is where we are right now. Oh, Look around. There are some stalls closing up for the night, but some are still enjoying small business here and there. We'll see. It's just Scottish. Yeah, yeah. It seems the consequences of my actions have caught up with me. I'll yeah. be mute for a bit, but I'll be listening. Don't worry, it happened to me one time and I sat playing a game of D&D &D in the toilet, rolling dice on the floor with the camera on so people could verify the rolls. Going back to our original roots oh of humanity, my God. Shooting, dice on, shooting dice in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I will say right now, it was really odd. So what do you want to do in combat? And then just all of a sudden there is an echo. Yeah, I want to move 10 feet. Can someone move my character 10 feet, please? <laughs> yeah. These are all in the small little town. I'll say right now. Browse. You are walking around. Yeah, what is it, what is it you're looking for? Uh, I'm going to head to Fletcher first. Some arrows. Let's see. Funny. Who's here? Nod. It's uh looking for anything special or just a top up? Just a top up on some arrows. Uh if I could get six normal arrows and two barbed arrows. If I appreciate it. On this computer. Uh I can give you uh I can give you a 20 normal ar arrows for one gold. That's a pack. It's standard. Very well. Yeah. It's going to hand you like 20 arrows. It's going to tie just to a little ribbon. So I'll throw that to make you to have 34. And uh, what else was it? 
Uh, some barbed arrows. Five. Okay. I need to think how much that. How much were barbed arrows for ten? I gave you ten for a gold, didn't I? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Looks. So, five silver. There you go. Right, I was going to pop that off. Shoot the spell. I was going to write this down. Don't know. Someone else wants the barbed arrows. Ten for ten, for one gold. Hand you those over. So, how the arrows treat you then? Um, let's not talk about it. Not too well. Sorry to hear that. Maybe your luck will change soon when things end up on your side, shall we say. Let's hope it does. Anyway, thanks. And you're gonna walk on off. You're just gonna hear. It's always tomorrow. Just walk on over to the store here. The man, rather gruffled man, covered in soot. You can tell these weapons that he that are here are. Very well made and very recently made. Kind of looks. Good evening, sir. How may I assist you tonight? Uh, I've got two short swords. I want souls. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me see one. Hand you one over. <laughs> Looks at it and all, but. Ah. How many are you looking to sell? One, two? Two. Uh, poof, I'll give you 15 gold for both. Deal. Deal. Hand them over, that gives you. 70 gold, and I'll remove the two short swords from your sheet. And last but not least, our brows will head over to Tinctures, that's where you get like health and stuff. Uh, yeah, health potions. health potions and shit. Mm -hmm. And over there, the man who's been dealing with everything is slowly trying to close up as you do. Come over, it's gonna help you with today. Uh, I was looking for some health potions uh, of some sort. If you'd be able to help me out. Yeah. Uh, how, how how big are you looking at these? You know, we've kind of got these kind of opens up a small flat side as it does. You see. All manner of potions from what is essentially a test tube to a large flask beaker. All manner of things. Just some stuff like uh, size wise, I'm not sure. Something in the middle. Something I can take a three or four of. Well, the smallest here, you're going to point to the test tube one. Uh, that'll run you 50 gold. These things are potent, to say the least. 50 gold for one? For one, yes. Where would I be? Right. Well, that's my turn anyway. I'll just I'll be next time. No, there is. Yes. Wondering. Your token should be there, Jill. <clears throat> I see it. Yeah. Cause I gotta head off now, anyway. Yeah, man, the bar. Uh, I'll like I, said, I won't move things through until everyone's here because I'm nice like that. 
Okay. Robert, enjoy the rest of your night. We'll see you soon. Alright, see you later. Bye. Yeah. Alright. Finn. Alright, um. You know, as I came in, all the names disappeared. That's not <clears> me. I, I right clicked in the wrong place. Alright, I'm gonna head over here to the jewelers. The fact that I actually put a jeweler down fucking amazes me. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I thought of a jeweler fucking amazes me. I'm gonna take a step. Oh wait, it's like a cart, right? It's like a shop. It's like... You know, like those kind of like, um... I suppose the best way it's gonna... They say those like New York newspaper vendor things. Imagine like that. Mm. Like, did you see Watchmen? The film Watchmen, Zack Snyder. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got you. And um, ah, uh, I'm gonna go to him. I'm just gonna say I would like to sell some gems to you. See that gem. small. Gnomish man turns. Metals. He does, he's got this you know, little eyepiece thing on that, you know, multiple little bits. It's, ooh. Duh. What, what have you got exactly? Okay, um. Gems are uh, things made with gold, that. Uh, silver. All kinds of stuff, really. Okay, um. Okay. I'm gonna just start pulling stuff out. I see the blue quartz on his table, the silver ear on his table. Uh I sit on there, the Zircon, the Aquamarine, the Tourmaline, 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 <laughs> the Azurite, and the Obsidian statue with gold fittings and inlay. Is he? Starts looking through them all. You know, little things in and. You can tell it. it. does have some curiosities on them. Did you watch this? <laughs> Eventually, about three small piles are built up. It takes him a good ten minutes to do so. As you watch, he's kind of booing and eyeing at them. As you watch, you know. There is general excitement in his face in some of these. As you can. Kind of, <laughs> Yeah. No, no worries. I I don't expect. Um, how do I how do I say this without? It? He's saying I'm willing to bargain on these as well. As he kind of looks, kind of takes a little blue quartz. So uh, this here is a it's a general spell component sometimes. Um, so with it. Well, it does have a demand. Most people wouldn't really come to me, so I'd have to put it maybe in a, a necklace or something. I can give you five mm. gold for that instantly right here on the spot. Mm. Mm. We can do that. Your, um... Your nice bone dice. Um, not necessarily a me thing at all. Um, you might have better luck you know, down there and punch towards the miscellaneous goods. Um, I, I, maybe at the push, 10 to 15. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Uh, your, your medals, um, there's not a gemstone in these, but to me, these are useless. I, I can't do anything with them. I'm not a woodworker. I don't work with glass. Um, okay. Maybe give them to someone you like. Maybe there's a okay. pretty lady in your life, who knows? <laughs> For it. Here. <clears throat> I'm assuming you like passed over the robe as well. Oh yeah, sure, why not? Is he gonna look at this? Um This is worth more in the right hands. 
to mm -hmm. me, um, to me, this is a robe with some gold. I would have to absolutely destroy this to get what little gold is in there. Um, I could give you a hundred gold for it. Um, you could maybe try to get a better price elsewhere, but it's a lot of work for me to use. Mm -hmm. uh, I will try to find the right hands for it. It's such a nice piece to just be destroyed. Of course, yeah, of course. Uh, your your jug here. Mm -hmm. Silver ear. Ah, I can give you a full fifteen for that <laughs> one there. Um, I I, you fifteen. That'll make a nice necklace. Mm -hmm. The mm. zircon. Uh, yeah. For the ear, I, is he talking about the ear? Whenever he says the uh, yeah, the jug. I ask him if he can do twenty. There's enough room for him and me to work around with that. Not to mention, art is based on the art that he makes here is based on the material cost and what he views as appropriate for him to sell his pieces for. Yep. So we're still under the material cost. Now it's just up to him how much he's going to sell that piece for. Ah. Let me, uh, well, oh, fuck it, agree. Let me give you a, a counter on this one here. It's currently a jug. Yes? We agree it's a, a year, a jug. Yeah. So uh, I'll have to take that to the brothers down in the south side of the uh, city. Who will okay. have to melt it down into a ingot for me to work. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm going to have to pay them. So he's going to go. Okay, 15 is fair. 15 is fair. I put a pencil somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Don't worry, Fane's writing it down. <laughs> yeah, but I have a table as well. So far, he's bought the um the blue, I mean the blue quartz for five, and the silver ear for fifteen. So there's fifteen. There's fifteen. I mean, there's twenty. Yeah, there's twenty on the table for him. The rest he hasn't bought yet. He's gonna move on to the zircon. The zircon. Is he? I need to remember what the zircon looks like again. He's gonna look at that. This is the another one that would end up being as a spell component. Um, I can, however, uh, I can do you thirty on that easily. It's very nice stone, good condition. Um, not going to pretend I know where it came from, but it's in good enough condition. And well, on its own, it will sell, but it'll also sell in a piece. Mm, he said 30? 30, 30 zero. Uh, Can I push for like 35 with a persuasion? Yep. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. I'm going to keep it like that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to look. Yeah. Yeah, on you. Yeah, definitely fine. Sure. Okay. Cool. Rolled a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> I could have probably pushed to forty with this. <laughs> I rolled a nat one after it. Is he gonna? Looks at the little bone carved statue. Um. Uh, he doesn't work. Well. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about that. <laughs> it's rather grim and macabre. Maybe you're selling this to the wrong crowd. Yeah. See, takes a look at the aquamarine. As he does, you can tell he is gilding this thing. Ah, I see you like that one. I'll give you two fifty. Mm. See, very useful piece for certain. How often do you come about around them? I don't come around them too often, granted. I'll be honest with you. I like it for myself. <laughs> ah. Oh, so it's a personal. Okay. He crosses his arm. If you can do... Raise it 100, do 350. And it's yours. Can I do persuasion on that one as well? 
I'll do you three. Mm. Meet me in the middle at 325. You don't have a hard bargain. I'll, I'll meet you there, 325. 325, thank you. This man's gonna walk away from here with a business degree. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Aralamalin thing. A transparent mm -hmm. pale green, blue, or brown, or red gemstone. Mm -hmm. What color is it? I'm going to say this one's red. And now I'm going to Google what it looks like. Oh, damn. Damn. It's like a false ruby. Red is like the most common color of that thing, by the way. Is it? Okay. By the looks of it, yeah. I just googled that and I seen a black one, but everything else was red. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, well, I've already given my. Oh, that one's God. I know, right? <laughs> it's just like a really pale ruby. Uh huh. Yeah, looks. It's a pretty oh. color. Oh, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a fifty gold for that one. I say 65 would be fair for both of us. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight? Fifty-eight. Let's just make it an even number, 60. Fifty-eight's just weird. Okay. Sixty is fine with them. Sixty is fine, yeah. Okay. Looks a little as you're right. As you're right. So, um, so, five gold is as common as anything. I won't complain with you on that one. I'm just gonna look at the obsidian statuette with gold fittings. Now, this is akin to your robe there. The glass. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to shatter to get the gold out. So the worth of the statue is immediately lost. You know who I would be able to sell it to? The the silk robe and the statue that it'd get its full value. Whatever that may be. Um I don't know who it gives you full value, personally. You'd be looking at someone who could be selling these things off. A noble. Do you know a noble? I know a governor. I mean, you you can try your luck with a governor. Uh, actually, I do know a noble. Do? <laughs> oh, that's funny. He probably doesn't have any money though, so we're not going to talk about him. Okay. Uh, how much would he give me for the gold? We're just gonna see. I could only give you a hundred to figure out just now, and then if it was worth more, mm. I could give you that. But it would take some preparation time to do so. Mm -hmm. And uh... I do risk overpaying you with that, as though there is a fair amount of gold there. From what we mm -hmm. can see, we also don't know if that's a surface level gold or a rather deep inset inlaid gold. Mm hmm. Uh, Let's see. I think he's gonna. I'm gonna hold on to it. So he's. So basically, what he's bought for me is all of the gems. All the mainline gems, yeah. So he took from you, I'll remove them from your sheet one at a time. The blue quartz was taken. Uh, the silver ear he bought. He offered me 15 for that one. The ear was bought in? Yes. Uh, I've also, in my calculation, put in the bone dice. So I don't know if you want me oh. to take that out or not. Oh, um, how much did he offer me for the bone dice? 10. That's fine. 
Uh, the Zircon was taken. Mm -hmm. The Aquamarie was taken. I should have pushed 400 for the Aquamarie. <laughs> the Termalunanine was taken. Okay. The Azurite was taken. And would anyone like to know just how much was made in that one transaction? Four hundred and fifty-five gold. Oof. For all of you. <laughs> so I will update your sheet with that. Um, with what we my fifteen, I already have. Yeah. I still have the obsidian statuette to sell. So you and know, the uh, silk robe. If you guys are ever in the need for money. <laughs> I'm gonna rework that table now. Gotta please don't. Gotta <laughs> dump the uh, gotta dump the one of the mirrors because I gave it to uh, to Renard. You give a mirror to Renard, don't you? I gave him a mirror to Renard, yeah. I think there's like two mirrors on your sheet. Uh, small mirror, small mirror. Yeah, so I'll just yeah. I'll delete one small mirror and then I'll just. Oh no, I already it. deleted one. Yeah, but see, because it came as two separate items, I'll just put oh, two really? parentheses next to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah. So you're gonna take them off and hands you the gold. It's gonna look. It's a uh, bit of pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, sir. If I uh, find anything else on me, I'll be sure to uh, come back with you. Yes, you can certainly, um... Yes. Although, I yes. can't say I'll be in business too long if you keep coming back, but yes. <laughs> I, uh, I offer him a hand to shake. I'm just not going to shake your hand. Mm -hmm. no, he don't reach. Faden isn't too tall. <laughs> he's a gnome. <laughs> oh. oh, he's a gnome, okay. Shakes your hand. Tell me again, friend. Will do. Um. Okay. A small piece of jewelry in the style of your homeland's craftsmanship. That's a background uh, item thing. Yeah, that's a background item thing. That's that's me. That's mine. Don't mind that. I was just looking over. I still have my Kingfisher trophy. Because I am the Queen Fisher. <laughs> the last remaining part of Vogler, this one trophy. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing anything else, my guy? Uh, buh, 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 buh. I wanna I would like to see if the miscellaneous shop would wanna buy that bone statuette as a as an oddity, but he said it was a macabre item. Yeah, you you need to. You need to sell that somewhere. I. The best way I could look at it is if this were Forgotten Realms, your best bet would be walking into a Null encampment and going, look what I got, or, you know, some goblins and be like, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it as a bartering item to, for goblins or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's worth that much anyway, is it? Uh, nah, it's like 15. Yeah. What is it? Eh, yeah, it's about that, but yeah. Then all says we jump over to Melano, who technically speaking would be walking, would have been walking through this particular area. So I do not believe your token is on this map though, because no, you were not here. So I will quickly, boom, drop a Melano. Yay! <laughs> you probably sat in a dark screen the whole time, and all you had to do was say. That man I mean... is getting night. <laughs> yeah, these views are all in this little time center right now. You know, the names of the shops. You would have walked by this in your own time, so you would have seen this place. If there's yeah. anywhere that you are looking to go before you head to Wyan's shop. Mm. I mean, I don't have enough money for healing potions, so. Probably nothing. Just go straight there. Then, 
I will say for it as you head down to wine shop. The streets are quite quiet. The shop, however, as you do get close, you do once more smell that sweet peppery licorice. <coughs> and if you do, you sure. notice as wine is naturally you know, locking up for the night. Who's wine? Background stuff. Oh. Yeah. As you, you know, look, there is an image of her, but I think I, yeah, no, there is an image. Um, I'll put it on screen for everyone because, you know. You're nice. Yeah. <laughs> and also, she's like a solid seven. Well, hello, Ryan. I love her dress. I get Morgan <clears throat> vibes. Yeah, same. And Claudia Black's like a ten, so like, you know, I'm winning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what is wine so? She's a mage She's of high sorcery. She's a mage of high sorcery? Yep. She have magic stuffs? Or magic? She's an apothecary. 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 Okay, apothecary. <laughs> I, was wondering, I was like, what is a apothe apothecary? Sorry. <laughs> Pronunciation is weird. English is probably her third language. Mm. Second. But it could be my first with how much I'm speaking it more than my nat native language. <laughs> yes, you are rocking up to the shop. You see what? she is rather yeah. you know, rocking up. Yeah. She does. She kind of looks at like is there anything you want I can open up if you're looking to buy? No, no, I was just see, looking to see if you need any help. I'm gonna follow me or no? Not no. secret. Just, just, just. <laughs> oh, no. It's. Yes, uh, nothing I particularly require. It's all mainly ground stuff. If you wish to know more, I can teach you these things in the ways of apothecary but for it the shop is very much self-sustaining it works on its own without any issues I, I wouldn't mind knowing more about the herbs and stuff though You watch as she turns around and reopens the shop. Come this way. Thank you. Appreciate it. Does she do tattoos? Do tattoos. tattoos are something tattoos. else. Tattoos. Uh. Apothecaries don't do that. Oh wait, the apothecary is what sold the po the poison to uh Romeo. An apothecary mm. is just a fancy word for someone that sells potions. Technically, the tinctures is an apothecary. You know, just an apothecary dispensary. Mm. I mean, I suppose if you want to look at it in the weirdest way possible, an apothecary would essentially be a chemist, but. Your pharmacy, yeah, more something. your Eastern medicine where they sell you the herbs and such. And say, you know, you over take, the counter medicine, <laughs> you take this, so you drink this, you feel good in the morning. So, what you're right. saying is that the apothecary has the good stuff. I wouldn't say the good stuff, but it has stuff. 
Mm. Now I know what was in here. Mm. As there is. Mm. I'm have to quickly go to Google, but as you watch as she is going around everything and starts picking up a few plants here and there. It's Xanathar's Guide to Everything that fucking has this as well, so why the fuck I can't find it in my XGE, I will never know. It's fucking Xanathar's face right there. <laughs> um, yep. She you now looks. You can learn a lot from potions and things. However, what you should be aware is what you make has a cost. You need to be good at doing things before you try. For example, we like to make... There it fucking is, right there. <laughs> We like to make all manner of potions for people. The problem being that when you start dealing with oddities, people start questioning. Do you understand? Yeah. With it, we always try to make things for others. How are you at herbalism? I don't know that much about it. But if I remember correctly, that's out of character. I can... I don't know, let me double check. Because I remember that I took fishing tools as proficiency or something. Um, that I can change my proficiencies. I don't know. Let me check. Aladrin? Is this something to do with the back of Aladrin? Um... Yeah. That's like tool proficiencies. I thought it was like everything proficiencies. You're also an Aladrin. So I don't you? remember, but I know that I like could choose a proficiency or something. Like once per long rest or something. Creature type, you're an elf, language is spellcasting. It's not to do with that. Magic initiate, tough, font of magic. It's your sorcery points, meta magic. Sorcerer of versatility. Skill expert. Um, The only class I can think of that can do something like that is Rogue Phantom. Uh, Rogue, uh, what yes. was it? Phantom? No. So the only race, sorry, the only race I know that can do something like that, to my knowledge, is the Geth and uh, Geth Yonke. So. This is the Aladrin from MPMM. Oh, 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 when trans, trans. Trance, the thing that lets you fucking sleep. Um, yeah, like, um, whenever you finish this trance, you can change your season, and you can gain two proficiencies that you don't have, each one with a weapon or a tool of your choice selected from the player's handbook. I can gain proficiency with herbalism kit or alchemist's tools or something. There we go. So now that we know that, fuck it, the thing that lets you sleep. 
<laughs> As you looks. In just a manner of days, you can create something truly mesmerizing. And you watch as she starts taking different leaves and such and crushing them in metal and porter. Met net mortal mortar and pestle. And mortar and pestle. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of those things to. Just gonna, just you should have the purple burger alarm. <laughs> so it starts mixing it all through and adding all manner of things. You watch as the things start to almost smoke up, and you can smell this rather acrid smell. When you put your mind to things and have. The necessities. Sometimes you watch gonna scrapes this thick like this thick chunky paste into a larger beaker. You can eventually make something truly remarkable. You watch as water goes in. It puts a little stopper on it and Put something in the lid. How long do you have? <laughs> All night, if needed. Good. Then you're on guard patrol, and I'll be back at six. <laughs> okay. Hand you the key and just leaves. It's sitting on this worktop is now a beaker that seems to be bubbling away. The smell fills the room. It doesn't do much to fix the perfumed smell of licorice and pepper. But it does it does enough to make itself noticed. As you look around she is already at the bottom of the street. Gone. <laughs> See, sun starts to set in the city of Calaman. I will now say it's a good place to end it. Yeah. And I will give you the choice. The next session can be the next day, or it can be the next week, and just have a week of downtime. What say you guys? Ah, uh, in said week, can Melano teach me spellcasting? <laughs> Melano is currently learning how to brew healing potions. Dang it! Dang it, Melano! Also, spell casting, you, you can learn armors, um, armors, languages, weapons. I don't think skills. I'll look into that. But mm -hmm. languages. So proficiency that you don't have each one with a weapon or a tool of your choice, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, or languages. Given, I would say you would more than likely go back to the castle that night for your sleep and mm -hmm. for that week in the town um it is entirely so you can basically learn anything from Bryn or anything from Renard mm. and vice versa you know Renard can learn something from you you can learn something from Bryn hmm. I don't think there's anything that would be useful for me to learn from them, if it's only a weapon and languages, and I can teach them dragon mm -hmm. I can teach them how to speak draconic. I already know it. This this game turned out a lot like Descent to Avernus. People heard they were going to hell and took Infernal. <laughs> People heard the word Dragonlance and took Draconic. 
have Draconic because I'm way the dragon. <laughs> so I took like Common and Elvish because they were the most two languages that my character would probably know. Imagine being an Eladrin from from the place where elves are and not knowing Elven. I can also speak Celestial if any one of you want to learn. Mm -hmm. Speak Celestial. Uh, but can I, um, during, if I, if we're taking the week, can I, uh, can I try to find a place to sell the statue and the, uh, robe for a high price? Anyone yeah. in the town or, I just want to say that's what I'm doing for the week. And if, uh, yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. Um, something like that, uh, I'll, cons I'll consider it buying slash selling a magical item for the terms of the checks that the book will do. But I, um, Can I also look for buying a magical item? That'd, that'd be cool. I'm just gonna I didn't know that you could do that. I'm going to use those checks. As as it were right now, there's only gonna one magical person in this entire town, and she's the most apathetic cunt you will ever meet. Isn't that right, Melano? <laughs> yeah, yes, it is. Wait, wait, can you say that one more time? The only person...